How's that? Does that work? What do you all think? You have to by now. Does it work? Okay, okay, cool, cool. I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do you all think of pretzel m &Ms? Yes. <laughs> Here for the lazy content. Okay. So, I feel like this is going to happen. I don't even want to speak it into existence because, like, what if I'm just overthinking it? Okay. They're boring. What? These? I don't know. I like the crunch. Crunch, crunch, munch, munch. Silky ganache ate the lunch. So, share size. Hope you brought enough for everyone. Just me and my feline. Um, so, like... What if, you know what would be, like, kind of funny, like, what she would do? Um, if, like, <laughs> if, like, during while we watch this, what if she, like, makes the video private so I can't react to it? Because, <laughs> like, that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, my gosh. I should have downloaded this video prior to live streaming so that... She didn't have the option to take it away while I was midstream. <laughs> but you know what? If she does that, though, um, I already called it out ahead of time. So, like, it, it wouldn't be a serve. It would just kind of just be like, whatever. Like, oh, wow. Like, okay, like, we thought of that already. You know what I mean? So... If she does that, we could just go watch, like, another reaction channels thing to this. Maybe, like, um, Karina or Quirky Alert or, um, you know who I started watching this morning, actually, was, um, some guy named Pulpy Syntax. He seems really cool. I like him. So maybe, like, we would go, like, watch his stream. But, like, do you understand, like, how, like, ridiculous this is at this point? This is a reaction to a, a reaction to a reaction to a reaction of a video. And then if we went over to someone else's stream and watched theirs, it would be a reaction to a reaction to a reaction to a reaction of a video. <laughs> See you next Tuesday. No, I don't hate you. Why would you say that? The hand behind the laptop is creeping. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, because I do care to edit, um, I'm going to turn on my little thingy my bobber now. Thingy my bobber. Yeah, this thing. Okay. I can never get it right. And you know what? It, it is. Oh my gosh. It's, it's so annoying. Every single time. I think it's the shadow. I think it's the shadow on the back of my chair. Here, maybe if I pull the green screen over the chair, it'll like be better. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Shiniest Spurs. I need to know what M&M's those are. Also, I love you. Oh, thank you so much, Shiny. Um, they were... Were. They're gone now. Uh, pretzel M&M's. I don't know. They're just so crunchy. And they're really good. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. I just like them. Um, but do you see this, though? Like... Like, why does my chair look like that? <laughs> Maybe I don't care to put enough effort into it. <laughs> a 
Okay, maybe it'll be better if I do this. Because, like, I'm sitting a weird way, and I thought that that was kind of, like, maybe going to be the serve. But I don't think that that might, is going to be the case, necessarily. <sighs> oh! Okay, that's better. I need to buy a green chair. Wait, I didn't. I never even thought of that. Sodium queen. Ugh. Here, let's move the green screen. Doesn't this look like the Harry Potter cloak of invisibility? Do you know in the first movie, the um, the Sorcerer's Stone, where they're walking through the library and they throw the cloak of invis invisibility over their head so they don't get caught by Snape? This is literally what I'm doing. So I don't get caught by Amber. I'm putting the cloak of invisibility over my chair. Okay, also, there's like nowhere for me to sit at this point because this is a reaction to a reaction of a reaction. So like, I already appear in this video once already. Okay, let's get rid of the couch. Please start talking about her being mad at you, speculating her health. Yeah, like what, whatever, I don't know, like whatever. The, honestly, honestly, I have seen bits and pieces, but I have not watched this video. I haven't. So there will be a lot of this that it's me seeing it for the first time. Jordy can chew without showing food in his mouth. Did I? I remember one time I was eating um, buffalo wings and I, I, I don't get sauce. I mean, this was before I had facial hair, but I didn't get sauce on my mouth like whatsoever. Like I, I like it, it was weird how I was able to eat them. Oh, Kayla. Hey, thanks. Um, love you so much, Jordy. Thanks for keeping up the good fight. <laughs> the CEO of YouTube telling everyone to do what to post. Yeah, I kind of get that vibe too. Thanks so much, Kayla. That's really generous of you. And Julie Bean. Hey. Hey, back to you. Thanks so much. Hi, Jordy. Hi, Livy. Lord and Savior. <laughs> Reaction channel so pointless. She had to make a one hour video about you. Well, um,. It's not so much that, like, she made the video about me. So, like, Karina made a really good point. And I like to reference her because, as you all know, I've said this in the past, Karina is the one who got me into all this. If it were for Karina's videos and I didn't come across her videos, like, I would not be doing this. Like, she's iconic. I love her. I think that she's so intelligent, very bright. I love listening to her videos and everything. And she made a good point. Um... <clears throat> No, as you all know, November and December are the most lucrative months for YouTubers. And she might have been getting away with doing, oh, look what I bought at Walmart. Look what I bought at Target. Look what I, you know, got off Amazon in the summertime and like early fall and everything. But like, this is the time where like you get down to stuff. So I'd imagine she'd been watching me for a while now. I don't know when the first time she said she didn't know me was, but I remember there was a, it was a telonym or Instagram. It was a telonym or Instagram thing. And somebody sent in a thing and they were like, can you believe Jordy is talking about your childhood? Which like, it was taken out of context. Could you believe that? Something in this community being taken out of context? Unreal. Unreal. But it was taken out of context, and they were like, um, yeah, Jordy said something, like, about, like, her childhood. <laughs> I don't know. Amber Lynn was like, uh, I don't know who that is, but he better shut the... I was like, oh, okay. So that's, like, when I first really thought I was on the radar and everything. But um, girls, like, there ain't much to do with anymore. I mean, we've talked about it in the videos. Um, views are down. Girl world is dry. Um, foodie booty is like carrying 
like a back made out of iron. She's carrying Girl World right now, in my opinion. Um, I don't know if we need new creators or just a different angle to look at all of this, but I have ideas. I have ideas. Um, you notice I've been doing Foodie Booty the past week. You know, I did a, a video on Girl Defined, a girl, uh, HRH collection and stuff. So, like, there are ideas out there and everything. So, like, definitely, definitely, um, the expansion pack of Oh Lordy, It's Jordy is an imminent. So, um, look forward to that. I was actually think hi Cody. I was actually thinking about making a video to um White Lotus season two. I just remember really liking season one and I started watching season two. I was like, oh this is so good. And it has Aubrey Plaza in it. And I was like, oh yes. Okay, um, but enough about whatever. Like what me rambling. Well, you know what? Regardless of what I say, regardless of if we watch this video or if you know, we just sit here and talk about whatever. It's going to be pointless. This is a pointless channel. So whatever you hear come out of my mouth, it's not going to have any bearing or relevance on you, your family, your life, whatever. So just have to consider that, you know, be because this does. <laughs> this video does. <laughs> All these other videos do. Okay. Um, hello, so, welcome to a new video. Surprisingly, people want me to react to reaction channels, which I understand. Girl, no, they don't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to pause 12 seconds in. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do, like, the whole, like, 10 seconds she talks and me talk, like, for a minute thing. Like, that's annoying. I feel like that's annoying. So I'm not going to do that as I do it. But... No one's saying this. And she does this for literally everything. People are asking me to do this. People are saying I should do this. Like, girl, just if you want to make the content, go ahead. You don't need to make an excuse for it. You don't need to provide a reasoning. Just make make it. Just film the video. I can find that entertaining. I can see where the entertainment lays. Um, I don't mind a reaction here or there. But to have a whole channel that is relying on someone else's content so you can react to every single video they put up or even 90 80 to 90 percent of every single video they put up come on now a few reactions here and there i don't see any issue with it and we're gonna do it and that's your personal opinion that's your personal opinion like that that's fine if if you think that the dynamic and what i put up on my channel is not okay and you're not all right with the amount that I do it and the frequency of when I do it, that's fine. But don't let that opinion creep over into, well, I can get him in trouble for this. That's fine to have that opinion, but don't be acting like you have dominion over other people's channels. Don't be trying to intimidate other creators. In Amberland Reed fashion, I don't care enough to learn how to edit where I don't need my laptop. I don't care about that. I don't care to have a little thing down here like all reaction channels have. I just don't care enough. I'm not a reaction channel. I'm just doing this for fun. So I decided to choose a reaction channel that I've only seen a few of their videos because I don't really know their take on me completely. I didn't want to do a reaction channel that I've seen plenty of their videos, I already know the things they're going to complain about, what they're going to say. Um. Okay, I have heard from multiple people. Remember, I haven't watched this whole thing through yet, but I think it was Michael B. Petty. Michael B. Petty put on Twitter yesterday, it was like, prior to everything that I say in this video, she has a well thought out rehearsed response to it. <laughs> So it's just like for her to get on here and say someone I don't know much about, someone I don't know their take on my channel, someone I don't know. But like you already came for me by saying that my channel is 80 to 90 to 100 percent you. So like you're contradicting yourself already because you're already saying that, you know, it's like you're, you're aware of like my uploading patterns and stuff. So 
what which is a girl you don't know about my channel or you're doing all the work in the background which i mean watching a youtube video doesn't really work but so i decided to choose someone different and yeah the video is called how will amber lynn win back her audience i don't really know what that means i don't want to win back my audience first of all Oh, did you hear that? She doesn't want to get her views back up. So as as over the past few months, we've been descending into the 50s, the 40s, and I don't even how I don't know even know how many vi views this. I don't even know if this broke 30,000, honestly. Um, so you don't you don't want those views back? I mean, views on YouTube equal money. So you don't want those viewers back? Okay. I mean, those are her words. She, she doesn't she doesn't want it back. Okay. So uh, I think How Will Amber Lynn Win Back Her Audience is a pretty self-explanatory title. And she said that she doesn't understand it, but then immediately follows up with, well, I don't want to win them back. So I think you understand. <laughs> the contradictions. The contradictions. Well, I want to just be myself and share what I want. If you don't like that person, then I don't know what to do because I can't like fake being someone else just to win people back. I All I can do is just be genuinely myself. Hi, baby girl. I loves you. Um, all I can do is just be genuinely myself and hope for the best, honestly. Never ever try to make people like you because then it's just gonna be a sad life. Just be yourself. Be a good person. Just be a good person. That's literally all it is to life. Be a What does this have to do with my video? Like, are, are you talking about me? Like, are you saying that I need to be, like, I, I don't get it. Like, you're, she's just speaking very generally. Good person. Anyways, let's get into this. Baby girl, are you gonna go lay down? Mama has to react to a reactor. Oh, let me love her first. Let me love her. Go in bedsies. Go in bedsies. Good girl. Sitting down and watching it like beginning to end. I um, have seen clips on it through Karina's channel and like like minor bits and pieces of it, but I didn't like, I, I the, yeah, first time like sitting down and watching it. I don't want to make better content for it. <laughs> I want all of you to wake up every day of November with the first thought being, am I a party person yet? It may am I a party person yet? So every morning I'm going to wake up and ask myself that question. Okay. Um, if I was to answer that question right now, I would say I am a party person. I'm weird about big crowds. So let's keep. Amber Lynn's a party person. Girl, comment, like, subscribe. Should I turn on memberships? Amber Lynn is one of us, everybody. Woo -woo. I should have got balloons and streamers and refreshments. Well, I had some M&Ms, but they're all gone now. Keep the crowd just, you know, smaller and intimate for now. Throughout the end of the year, who knows? For today's adventure through the adipose, you will need new makeup. Oh, and by the way, I am watching this at 1.5 speed, so I hope it's not too fast for you guys. Normally, I watch all YouTube videos at two times speed. Um, my attention span is super short, so I needed to go by quicker and faster. I decided I'm just going to do 1.5 for the sake of this video, so I don't like frustrate anyone with like it going. Okay, like, we get it. Like, I don't talk that fast. I think that the audience can put it together. I mean, I know that you call them impressionable, and you don't really, you know, think that they have much intellectual capacity, but... Uh, <laughs> I, so if I turned it on 1.5 speed, would that make me, like... Because I was kind of thinking about speeding her up, but I don't know if I can, because then that would speed the video up that she's already sped up, because this is a reaction within a reaction to a, re a reaction of our video. I think I got that right. Going too quickly. This is an energy drink of your choosing and some tape to keep your eyelids open. Take that last bite because we are swallowing our way back into the Gammerverse. Hello, welcome to a new video. Oh, okay. This is uh, the day I got my CT scan results back. I am just 
about to do my makeup. Um, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. And so the you know what I find very interesting about reaction channels? I don't understand the thought process behind reacting to a vlog. Um, unless, you know, someone like goes on vacation somewhere super awesome or like. Okay, I haven't even said anything yet. She's just going off. <laughs> Girl, you know good and well that you know good and well that this is not just reacting to a vlog. You know what surrounds your community. You know what your channel's about. I mean, yes, yeah, if it's if it was literally with no context, just Amber Lynn, we had no idea who she was. Her getting on here and doing her makeup and everything, like she, she would get like forty views, but. It's so much deeper to that and you know it. So that's what I'm reacting to. That's what I'm providing feedback on. Like, what are you confused about? Like, something really exciting happens in the vlog. But nine times out of ten, like, a vlogger on YouTube is very much, like, day-to-day -day life, which is the boring stuff, if you will. Um, reacting to vlogs, it's not entertaining. I watch a few vloggers who I love. Um, they're white noise. They're, I watch them while I'm eating sometimes, while I'm writing. Um, it's good stuff to watch in that way. But if I was to like sit there and react to it, it's a snooze fest. So I just don't understand um, reacting to my vlogs. If she genuinely doesn't understand that, then she genuinely doesn't understand the zeros on her paycheck at the end of the month. Nova Foxe, hi Jordy, love your personality, makes Amber's videos bearable, be a good person. Ah, oh, yes, let me mock someone's heart attack then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that that is funny that this video came so shortly after all of that. Um, but you know, you know, you know our program. It's it's here today, gone tomorrow. You know, everyone's talking about this today. I mean, tomorrow it'll be you know, something else. So, um, but thank you so much. It's very generous of you. I appreciate it much. It's very strange, especially because people find them so boring. We are using my new foundation brush, so I'm pretty. Excited. Does she mean the makeup or the process of doing the makeup? Because when I think of the Amber Lynn Reed show, and I think short, sweet, and to the point, there really is no point, you know? I mean, wh what are we doing here? We're, we're just kind of observing this woman's life. There's not really a point. Yes, that is true. Vlogs are observing someone's life. I don't know. A little, little existential dread to start off the episode. Excited about that. And this better be good because this was over $20. I don't think I've ever brought... Brought? Okay bought a makeup brush that was that expensive but like the last minute Feline actually bought all my makeup for me it was so sweet so she's the one who technically bought oh people were saying like oh my god why are you so shocked that she bought you the makeup does she not buy you things and stuff like that she does she seems to know a lot about what people are saying oh oh on the depths of this comment on this reaction channel with 700 subscribers, someone replied to a comment that said this. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't read comments though. I don't read comments though. I don't watch reaction videos. Australian viewer, love your videos, Jordy. Oh, thanks, Andy95. Happy to have you on board, mate. Wait, was that Australian? You guys say mate, yeah? Mate, or is that the UK? No, no, Australia's mate. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe they both do it. It's just, I don't expect her to buy my makeup for me, um, especially like a large quantity of it. So yeah, that's why I was saying like it was shocking. It was just sweet of her, like any sweet gesture. Um, I'm just like not used to that type of energy from someone, especially someone who, like this isn't shade towards anybody, but it's like, Every single month when she pays me, like, we just do it through Venmo because it's easier. She sends me rent through Venmo. She'll send me, like, the electricity, utility money, like, et cetera, et cetera. Like, it feels like I'm getting free money and we joke about it every single time. I'm like, oh, when you paying me? I'm just not used to, like, getting large chunks of money for other people paying their way 
um, for living. So it's kind of cool. It's like, I only have to pay half the bills now, like ma'am. I'm just like grateful for that type of situation to deal. A super expensive brush. I think even girl. So that was Shaded Becky. I don't know why we continue to do that. Becky, I just, that's like something I really don't understand. Like, even if Becky didn't pay for anything, she, she did beyond, above and beyond what any sort of paid caregiver or companion or whatever. She, she did it. I mean, I just don't understand. And, you know, she can get, she can come on here and say like, well, me saying that I'm appreciative of wifey paying half the rent or whatever, that has nothing to do with Becky. But like, girl, you have to see how that comes across because we just watched you and your life with your other girlfriend for how many years and you made it very clear that she didn't help with the bills. So to get on here and say, it's so nice splitting it. It's so nice having someone else contribute contribute to the bills every month like how how is that supposed to be taken girl when you're clearing well over six figures and you have been by working in your house for five hours a week for years now what's twenty dollars on a makeup brush now i'm not going to go into the whole diatribe about what i think that whole dynamic is between the two of them strolled up to the ulta counter popped her collar and said baby girl i got this I'm not gonna get into that again. I mean, so the way that Feline did it was we were both in Ulta. By the way, someone also like oh, this is this is bad to react because then I start thinking of like all the comments that I've seen recently or like DMs I've gotten. People are like, "Did you not even go into Ulta because like you didn't film last time I went to Ulta? They saw me filming, which this has happened. I've been on YouTube for ten years. This is only she's not even talking about what I'm talking about." Like, if, if this whole video is just her, like, pausing my video and not responding to the constructive criticism that I laid out in the video, like, what is the point? Like, I was making a joke about Jade walking up to the counter and popping her collar and paying for the makeup. Like, it, it's it's a minor attempt at humor. Like, it's not that deep. Like, I, I don't need to hear about all of the different comments that you researched and looked into dark sewers into to find and everything. Like... Is, is this actually a reaction to me or is this just her kind of talking freely while my video plays in the background? I don't know. Like I've seen clips of this. So like, I don't, I don't really know like what we're expecting. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. At 24, it says mood switches. Maybe what she does is she just kind of like does whatever like talks freely, just kind of like, I don't know. And then it, where it says mood switches, maybe that's when she gets mad to try to get engagement. But like, if you're making a video <clears throat> with the purpose of getting a lot of views and making money, wouldn't you want to put the raging at the beginning? Because so far, I mean, this, this is so boring. Which, I mean, you know, I'm used to it. I understand, like, that's nothing new. But I'm just saying for, like, an average viewer point of view, like, if within the first 30 seconds, if you're going, I hate this kid, red in the face, like, scream. I mean, that's that's what will keep people. It's not this, like, chill out, like, put your feet up, like, whatever. And then, t like, randomly, like, 24 minutes in, mood switches. Like, I don't even know what that means. Uh, hi, Poppy. <laughs> is that a little Shiba Inu? That's what that dog breed's called, right? Shiba Shiba Inu? I know that that was called a crypto coin. Shiba. I wonder how Shiba crypto's doing. Um, I kind of just want to go straight to mood switches, but whatever, we won't, we won't. It only happened like a handful of times. Maybe three or four. Um, they saw me filming and they said, you cannot film in here. So now every time I go into Alta, you will not see me filming. But, you know, I recently went to Walmart. I recently went to Five Below, World Market, like just recent places that I filmed. But Alta says that's a no, no, no. But um, while we were in Alta, it was like, I think I was like picking up my last thing. And Feline was just like, 
I'm gonna buy this for you. I'm gonna buy these things for you. It was just like random, sweet. Um, she's thoughtful, and that's kind of how that happened. But I'm not gonna get to it. You know, I could talk about why she's doing that because she's not getting in on the rents or anything like that, but I'm not going to. Wait, what? <laughs> no, I'm not. Not getting in on the rent. Okay, now I see why this video is an hour long. I say 10 words and she pauses it and goes on. Guys, this is, I don't know. See, like I had, I had reservations about even doing this to begin with because it's like, but I mean, so many people were asking for it, like getting tweeted at like Instagram DMs, like so many people were asking for it and I want to give you guys what you want and everything. But like, this is rough. I mean, it's, it, it was rough. <laughs> It was rough to do originally. Now it's rough on top of rough. And now it's rough on top of rough of rough of rough, rough, rough. rough. I sound like a dog. Rough, 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 rough. But. I don't know. Are you insinuating that she doesn't pay for rent? Because she very much does. She pays for groceries. She pays for uh, toiletries, essentials, cleaning supplies, pays for things for me sometimes, like we both do. She pays half of all the bills. Um, I'm very grateful for that. So $20 for a makeup brush. What's the point? Oh my gosh, the point. It keeps making, it keeps making its rounds tonight. What's the point in you bringing that up when you're making well over a hundred thousand a year? I think $20 for a makeup brush, even if you're like Kim Kardashian, like it's $20 for a makeup brush. I just find it to be kind of pricey. What's a $20 makeup brush? Oh, it has like a whole moment. It's like a plastic, like plastic hat. Okay. You know what? Point. Point one amber. Okay. Because you know what? In my vlogs and stuff, like, yeah. Okay. I, I see that. Thank you. Thank you for responding to that. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. She used... Hi, Just Jamie. She used this as an opportunity to talk more about herself and make excuses. It doesn't get interesting until halfway through. Ugh, guys, does this really not get interesting until like 30-something minutes? I really want to... I, I, I'm just going to stop no, saying so it. Excited. See, like... Like I said, I watch quite a few vloggers and they all vlog this type of stuff. They all show themselves doing their makeup, talking about little piddly things as such grammar. Just like very tedious things. And I enjoy that. But to sit there and like react to it is so boring, regardless of who you're reacting to. I just find this to be so weird that... Um, this reaction channel clearly reacts to almost every single one of my vlogs and hi rarity i know it's crazy it's just yeah it's crazy that's the which by the way why me because every reaction channel i watch they cover every video too so what what do you mean i mean do, don't other reaction channels film themselves reacting to or talking about every video of hers. I mean, I, I don't really get that point. It seems like that issue to her is exclusive to me, and I don't really understand why. Isabella Ward. Thanks for last year, Jordy. You should skip to the mood. Oh, I'm thinking about it. What if we do a poll? Should we do a poll? Um, we could do a poll. No, I'm not muted, Eclipse. Freckled unicorn, you are literally a part of my daily routine. I log on to work in the morning and you're like my coworker updating me on the tea from our girl. <gasps> I love that freckled unicorn. Aw, oh, thank you so much. That's very sweet of you. Emily Thompson, love your videos. Oh, Emily, thank you. Glad to have you here. Poll. Okay. Start a poll. Okay, now I I know how to make a poll. I care I cared to learn how to do that. Skip to mood switch. <gasps> Poppy! Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That's sweet of you. Diet Cokes for everyone. 
I'm gonna go buy a 24 pack. Do you think that's enough for everybody? 24 pack? <laughs> Very generous you, Poppy. Thank you. Nicole, why? Love how she tries to say not your channel name. Yeah, I noticed that too. Has, you know what? In the 10 minutes that we've been playing this so far, has she just been calling me this channel? Or has she said Jordy? I didn't even notice that, Nicole. And we know that Amber Lynn is really b big, big on that. She's big on that. Not saying people's names. So my girlfriend, this reaction channel, direct correlation. I don't know. This channel. Did you see Pulpy Syntax's reaction to ALR's react? Um, I was in there earlier when he was talking about foodie. Um, I watched a little bit of when he got into the ALR thing. I haven't watched all of it, but, um, I recently found out his channel and everything. And I think he's really cool. So I probably will go back and check it out some more. It looks like we're getting 75% at ES. How many votes do we have? Okay. Like 400 and there's like 900 people watching. No taxation without representation. Get your vote in, get your vote in. The only word I can come up with right now. This is the airbrush, a blurry foundation brush. So it's supposed to like make it look really good. But brushes for Ulta. So anyways, <clears throat> I am actually getting ready because I have my doctor's appointment and I just felt like putting on makeup. Yeah, I did. I don't know. Uh, Wait a second. If she has another doctor's appointment, okay. We, we might be in the twilight zone here for a second. A moment, just a moment. <laughs> Didn't she just not want to wear foundation because of the mask? Because anytime, at least, oh. at least in Pittsburgh, I feel like the- Yeah, I had a recent vlog where I didn't want to put on foundation because my mask is white. And sometimes, I gotta be honest, it annoys the crap out of me to get makeup on there. But I knew that after my appointment, we were going out and we were going to go do a few things. So I was like, you know what? I want to like wear foundation. <laughs> Danny Nader. I'm being dehumanized by being called this reaction channel. I think you're on to something. I think you're on to something. You know, treat people the way you want to be treated. I have a name. At birth, I w they get the birth certificate, everything. They wrote down, oh, Lordy, it's Jordy. So I would prefer that over this reaction channel. Thank you so much, Danny. Rarity was the best part of her reaction video. <laughs> I want more twink. More twink. More twink. The scratches. You should write. Oh my god. Juki dookie. You're bad. Foundation. I'll just deal with it while I'm at my appointment. Um, it was just going to be a quick one. I figured. So sometimes I deal with the foundation on my mask and sometimes I don't. It's not really a big conspiracy. It's just you have to wear a mask anymore. Our doctor's offices, dental offices, hospitals. But I kind of feel like it should have always been like that, like even before the big pandemic. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was trying to say. Guys, we're skipping. We're skipping. I, I don't want to hear every little thing about, like, just, just so minor. Gwen Mitchell, Jordy, I don't know who that is. Love you and your content. Can we get some complimentary snacks for this flight? I could have Twiggy make a quick run to the store. What do y'all want? Cheez-Its? Pringles? We had some pretzel M&Ms for people who got here early, but they're all gone now. We do have Diet Coke, but in terms of snacks, like, let me know what you're thinking, and we could do a quick little run. Cheez-Its are a fan favorite. Everyone okay with Cheez-Its? Thanks so much, Gwen. Oh, your dog looks very cute, by the way. I've only seen, I don't see Dalmatians much. I don't see Dalmatians much. I swear, like, around here, everyone has a dog, and it's, like, this, like, little, it's the same dog. Everyone has this same little white furry dog, and I I have it, too. I have it, too. Every <laughs> Nicole, why? Can't wait for her uh, to call your head small or little or whatever. Small? Are you calling me small? Oh, she calls my head small? Changes. Um, I give this reaction. Dental. You know me. Wait, hold on. Gotta bring out the speculation in me. So you're about to see here, my mood completely changes. Um, I give this reaction channel in the beginning benefit of the doubt. I am accepting their advice. 
um, sharing my anxiety, you know, saying how he's cute and just kind of giving him the benefit of the doubt and accepting what he's saying. Um, if I disagree, I do it politely. Well, girl, you don't need to tell me I'm cute and everything. I mean, part of the reason like why I do that and why I provide the constructive criticism is to like, I don't know, make you think about like what I'm talking about. Like I, I want it to be, I mean, I don't know. Like, maybe would my message come across better if I got rid of the face cam? Like, I, I don't... I just don't really understand that compliment because this this isn't like a, like, give me compliments, try to be my friend kind of thing. Like, it's... I feel like a reaction video should be more about, like, a discussion or a debate almost. Not like, oh, he's cute. But whatever. Um... Thanks for being so awesome. I recently quoted that French fry that broke the door dashers back to my husband, and now he says it. <laughs> I love that. I love little quotes. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, AS. That's awesome that you and your husband say that. No. The straw that broke the camel's back, that has been retired. No one on planet Earth says that anymore. It is the French fry that broke the door dashers back. <laughs> Which doesn't even really make sense because I used to do DoorDash and the food never went on my back. <laughs> but hey, pointless, pointless. Things don't need to make sense here. I need five pints of keto ice cream for this flight. Ooh, what kind of keto ice cream? Strawberry? Mint chocolate chip? Uh, thanks so much, Jamie. Here's for keeping our flights bearable through Girl. Oh, thank you so much, Bubbly. That's really sweet of you. Uh, Pam Solo, her narcissism sees constructive criticism as personal attacks. I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, she misses the point of reaction channels. You are the voice of us, the audience. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, I'm sure not everyone agrees with that, but if there are things that I've said in the past that you agree with, and it's like, oh yes, like this person is saying what I'm thinking. Like, thank you. Cause like, yeah, it is, it is kind of my goal in a way to communicate and say like what, a reasonable person might think or say. But you all aren't reasonable people. You're impressionable. Don't ever forget that. Can't think for yourselves. <laughs> oh my God, is that, oh Lordy, it's Bordy? Ah! Oh my God. Oh Lordy, it's Bordy. Bordy. Should I make a third channel? Oh Lordy, it's Bordy. And just put up boring content. Well, I guess that would just be content for me because it's all boring. But uh, <laughs> thanks so much, uh, Vitandis. Triple chocolate. I don't have a mind of my own. <laughs> well, thanks for admitting it. Thanks for admitting it. Uh, red, rose, blue. I hope Amber reacts to this and then you should react. Guys, I, I have to say this right now. If I don't think that she will, but if for some reason she reacts to this, like it, 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 it ends there. It ends there. It, she can have the last word, the last laugh, the last whatever diss tea spill like this this little this whole inception thing like I, I did i went back and forth on whether or not i wanted to do this at all because in a way like this is just so ridiculous <laughs> like why don't we just talk to face to face you know it's like a video to a video of a video of a, of a like i hope amber reacts to this yeah, yeah. but thanks you so much red rose comrade kitty amber sits on a big throne of loss she knew who you were I think she did too. I think she did too. But she'd never admit it. And she only what what was what was Foodie's quote? She we're only given the privacy that you deserve. It was it was some strange quote like that. Jordy, can you ask Twinkie to get me chips ahoy? Someone ate the rest of mine. <gasps> we're doing chips ahoy. We're doing chips ahoy. Diet Coke and Chips Ahoy. I'm sending it out. I'm sending it out. Twinkie will be back shortly. Oh my gosh, Lamb. Lamb, you did not have to do that. That is so generous of you. Love this channel. Agree, you make my mornings. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Lamb. That is beyond. Oh my gosh. Here, I'm going to put you as a moderator. That was so sweet of you. That is incredible. Thank you so much. 
I I'm not I'm at a loss for words. I've never received any sort of tip that large in my life. I don't really know what to say other than thank you so much. And I am going to continue to try to entertain you and make you laugh. But thank you so much. That is beyond words. I've really I wish I had a speech prepared, really. <laughs> you like me. You really like me. Getting ahead of the video. But is it true she sent you a wave emoji in DMs? How do you know about that, Nicole? Wait, did I tell anyone about that? How do you know about that? I didn't say anything about that. Nicole! Unless she told someone that she sent me a wave... I don't think that I ever told anyone that. She told, oh, okay, 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 okay. She said it, she said it, okay. Is it in this video? Was it prior to this? Because she did wait, okay. Tea spill, tea spill. She says in the video, okay, towards the end. All right, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. So when was that? Hold on, pulling up Instagram. Um, it might have been Saturday, November first, last Tuesday. It was last Tuesday. She sent me a wave emoji, and I waved back, like, "Hey, you know, whatever." Um, then. It, I think, like, the night passed. Like, I sent it, like, later in the night, and then I think she was asleep at that point. So in the morning or something, I don't know what happened. But it was really weird because Amber Lynn sent a third message, and it was a gif of that show, Shit's Creek. I have never seen Shit's Creek. Um, I, I recognize some of the characters from it, and, like, I recognize little clips from it. Um, I, I, is the, the, uh, the main character in it is the son of the dad in, oh my God, what, what is his name? It's going to drive me crazy. But any, it, it doesn't matter. But anyway, she sent me a gif of Shit's Creek and like, I was going to go look at it, but then it vanished. So like, I don't know if she put on, she said she didn't reply back. Okay. So like, there's no proof of this, but like, I, that I didn't respond? Yeah, I sent a way back. What? And it says seen. Where'd it go? Do you see under my little hand? It says seen last week. I don't know if it'll focus. Okay, there we go. Seen last week. She waved. I waved back. It says seen. And then she sent a gif of that TV show, Shit's Creek. And I didn't get to see what it says because as soon as I opened it, it went away. So like, I don't know if it was on vanish mode or if she manually deleted it or something. But what was that Shit's Creek gif, Amber? What was that? Because I wanted to see what it said. Lily Poo, thanks so much. That's really sweet of you. Uh, Zachary Michael's most viewed video is him reacting to her, reacting to him, reacting to her. So congrats, Jordy, you made it. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my gosh, I didn't know that, Kata. <laughs> thanks so much. I want to know what Giftgate. Giftgate. Gwen, you're on to something. Pull up to see vanish mode. I I don't know how that pull up to see vanish mode. It's not working. Nothing happens. It says get vanish mode. I, I have never used vanish mode. I, I don't know what that is. But there was, I swear, I swear I'm not crazy. But she sent in some type of gift from Shit's Creek because I recognized the main character in it. And as soon as I went to go click on it or look at it or whatever, um, it, then she sent it and deleted it. Okay, is that what happened, Abby? Is that what happened? Yeah, because like, I saw like 
0.1 seconds of it. She unsent it. Okay, that, that's what happened then. Okay. Sydney, she deleted it. Okay. A thousand little Jordies in the chat. Gift gate. I want to know what the Shits Creek gif was. Should we just look up Shits Creek gifts and then pick one out and then just say it was that one to have, like, like go shopping for a gif? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, mood switch, mood switch. Etc. But then this is where I start getting very upset and frustrated. And I feel like this is just a perfect example that. I mean, she can feel the way that she wants to feel. I'm never going to tell someone that they should feel a certain way about something because in a way that's gaslighting. So she can feel however she wants to feel. Just personally, I don't think that there is anything in my videos that I say that could cause someone to get very to that level, you know what I mean? The, the way that she's describing this. But I mean, you know, we have to consider the context of it all. This is this is fabricated drama. This GIF or GIF, GIF gate? I say GIF. I, I have never said GIF. GIF is peanut butter. <laughs> I've always said GIF. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> I do accept criticism. I do accept reaction channels. But then when you start speculating on my health and insinuating in a very low key way that I could be lying. This is when I get angry. Girl, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. And she's done this once already. She's done this once already said that I lied about uh, the whole like, did she wear the same clothes or whatever thing? But like, if you watched the video, that's clearly not what I talked about whatsoever. So I mean, She's going to perceive it any way she wants to, but go ahead. Angry, and you can definitely see the change. I have always gone by the cliche quote, respect people who respect you. And I feel very disrespected as a person when I am being told that what I am saying isn't true, especially when it comes to my health and everything that I've been sharing about it. It's extremely disrespectful. And then that's when a little bit of, quote unquote, my angry side comes out. It's it's hard. And you guys are kind of gonna see that. You know me, wait, hold on. Gotta bring out the speculation in me. I'm just saying, like, I, I have never known myself or anyone to go and have like a slew of medical issues, like the golden corral buffet of medical issues and have. I, I don't think this type of speculation is healthy for anybody. Like speculating someone's health. Like I'm literally, I've been so. Fr okay. Let me explain. I, I don't think that that's what I was doing. All I was saying in this specific clip here I was saying that I don't know anyone in my personal life that has had medical issue after medical issue after medical issue. That in no way suggests or implies that you're lying about it. I'm just saying that it's it's a rare case and that maybe for the rest of the audience, it would be harder to comprehend or harder to relate to because we don't have people like this in our lives or because this is maybe reserved for not a lot of people. So that is just me providing context as to how, like, you know what I mean? Like what I want to say on it. I, I, I don't know anyone that has had, and I, and I see how she took it. I see how she took it and I see how she could have taken it and how it could have been taken that way. But again, I don't come off with ill will. I don't, I, I don't come off with malevolence frustrated and scared with this whole thing and I've shared with you guys every step of the way you guys confused imagine how I was feeling like I was so confused what type of person does that make you to speculate on someone else's health see and then she jumps to a conclusion and then calls me names and, and implies things so she takes a strand of something morphs it into what she believes it meant or what she wants to think it meant. And then she makes a judgment based on that. 
girl, no. You have to stay more to the plot. Read the directions, do the work, stay on track. The, we, we are so far off base now. And fears and anxieties of what they're going through. Should this go wrong on the medical staff's end? I mean, so many misdiagnoses, is that a word, misdiagnosis, whatever. Just so much chaos, so many weird, vague yeah. answers. Like, yeah. this didn't happen, that didn't happen. Like, everything is resolving itself within a week's time. It's just... It hasn't been a week's time. I don't know if you're playing with a traveler game or if you're time traveling. I don't know what you're doing, but... It hasn't been a week. Um, it's been over a month of just like fear, tests, confusions, diagnoses, confusions, confusions, and fear. And for you to even be questioning, it's just kind of sad. See, but is that what I did? Is that what I did? W was I questioning the validity of it? Or was I simply saying that it's hard for me as an average viewer to comprehend or relate. Tailor this any way you'd like, girl. Any way you'd like. It's strange not saying that she's fibbing. I'm not saying that. I just think it's... Ah! I even say it in the video! I even say it in the video! And she's staring at the screen right now saying, you are Fibbin. You are doing this. It's like, girl, don't tell me what I'm doing. <laughs> like, what? I even say it. Odd. Me too. It, it, you know, if this is actually what's going on, it, it's very strange that all of these- Okay, mock my voice. We space travel here, not time travel. Ah! Well, sometimes actually- not answer sometimes we do sometimes we do like well it hasn't happened recently but sometimes we do we, we'll go do like an old destiny video or like we'll go to over to shrooms channel and see what they've thrown up recently and sometimes we time travel we do but yes you are right for the majority we do space travel here the middle school attitude <laughs> wait i kind of want her to like mock me again that was the, i'm kind of like here for that <laughs> These errors are taking place oh. one after another like this. Well, my doctor thinks that it confused my fluid with a nodule because I don't have one. I, I don't know. I just feel so lucky and grateful. This has been such a scary time for me. And um, oh, Flynn's coming. I have to walk downstairs. Um, I just feel so grateful. I have to walk like weird because still my ankle's kind of wonky. But I don't know. I just had to like immediately tell you guys because... I just feel so much better. You have no idea. Like, oh my God, I cannot wait to tell my mom because she's been so worried. So we're at the good old world market. I've not been here in years, so I'm pretty pumped. Look I'm going to go back cool. already. Both obsessed with her. How much is it? One of my most favorite vlogs to watch. And wait a second. Okay, I was expecting mood switch to be throughout the remain. Is she? Okay, let me know in the comments if you've watched this whole thing. Is, is it kind of like what we just were served right here? Like a little, it wasn't even really a rage. It was just like a little bit of frustration and mocking me. Which, by the way, like if it's to the point where you're arguing with someone or you're trying to like have banter with them and everything and the best you can do is just be like, <laughs> like you probably don't have that good of an argument, but that's neither here nor there. Um, the white knight. Oh, we love a white knight. Loving your channel. Thanks so much. Very sweet of you. Very generous. Uh, Lena, just, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Lena? Lena. Lena or Lena? Just found out my mom's cancer is still aggressively. Oh my gosh, that is such horrible news. Thanks for single handedly keeping me mood afloat. Oh my gosh. I, I really, really, it always just like breaks my heart to hear when you guys come to me in Instagram DMs and just say, like, you know, I'm just going through a lot right now. I'm um, going through a lot with school or I'm going a lot with work and like just your videos really are a boost to my mood and just thank you oh my gosh like I'm so sorry that that is going on Lena and I'm so glad that I'm able to be a source of comfort for you a source of like an outlet and I'm glad that you're here and I'm glad that you are enjoying it you're making her so mad LMFAO we love mockery oh we're more 
just uh we're just doing Jordy. We're just being pointless. If that's what aggravates her, so be it. But I'm just doing me. I'm not provoking anyone. I'm not doing that, am I? No. No. Thanks, Nicole. Um, I think that's why I like the vloggers that I watch so much is them going shopping. Shopping vlogs are like my favorite. Like, okay, but anyway, before I was reading the super chats, what I was going to say was I thought that the rest of this video was going to be like raging. Like, did, did she just mean this little two minute part right here? So is it, is it boring nothingness, interesting tea rage, boring nothingness? Because if I, I, I was under the impression that mood switches means that that applies for the remainder of the video. But here she is talking about something completely random that has nothing to do with me or the vlog or anything. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, no wonder this was an hour long, an hour and eight minutes. Love your videos, Jordy. Thanks so much, Nat. Aw, that's sweet of you. Glad to have you aboard. Where are you going? What you looking at? You better give me a haul. Thank God, learning to be fearless loves to shop. And so does Sarah Ray Vlogis. Literally, they have hauls every single vlog. <laughs> and I'm like relatable. Or I, it used to be relatable. I'm trying to slow it down a little bit. But um, it's like my favorite type of content. But to react to? Boring. Like, what is the point? <laughs> Well, it's it's your track record. It's your history. It's what you do off camera. It's a whole bunch of things that there's a lot of variables that go into it. I, I don't, there's no way that she genuinely believes that. That she thinks that people just sit down and watch and it's just like, there's so many, you know, this is like, you know that when you go to a party and it's like the seven layer dip? Like, we get into the video and we start, you know, we get our tortilla chips and we, we, we do, we eat through the layers of it and everything. Like a little bit of the layer is in Reddit, a little bit of the layer is in Kiwi, a little bit of the layer is in the YouTube comments, a little bit of the layer is reaction channels. It's very holistic. It's a very comprehensive community. It is not simply just sitting down watching this video. And if you think that, you're not paying attention. And I don't think that she thinks that. Uh, red, rose, blue. Whenever she asks, when is bullying okay? I tell her when you make soup. Ah! <laughs> that was cute. That was cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, okay. I'll, I'll have to, I'll have to watch out for that. Uh, good evening, Jordy. You're awake early. I'll make 3 a 3 a 3 a 3 a.m. Gang. Ooh, where are you at? 3 a.m. So that's like what? Five hours ahead of me? You in the UK? UK? UK, hon? UK, hon. That's a cute little video. Nicole was reminding everyone, don't forget to like the video. I don't really know how streams work. I think I think if you guys like this video, it gets promoted out to more people. I think that that's how it works. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not really a live streamer, but I am enjoying it. I, haven't, I am enjoying it, I will say. More recently, I am enjoying it. It's fun. It's fun interacting with you all. Okay. $16. I just want to say something. So we're almost halfway done with this episode. I don't know if y'all pay attention. <laughs> I love how he calls them episodes. I don't know what it is. Cute, fun, fresh, love it. It's kind of stuff. But you know, as a as a content creator, I definitely do. I know Amberlynn does. Views, I would say over the past month, views have been down drastically. I For who? I'm lucky to get the 20,000. Amber, I, I would say recently, like in the recent past, the last few months, she's been doing like maybe triple, triple what I do, 60, 70. If, if it was like a thumbnail. Views, such a hot topic lately um, when it comes to my channel. I never look at video views per video. I've never done that. Very rare. I've always looked at monthly views. How many views did I get in a month? And the last. Oh, you don't look at views of your videos. Girl, 
it, it's all a numbers game. What do you mean you don't look at the views of every video? Because, okay, the things that make up, I don't even like know if like, this is just so ridiculous. Like, yes, you do. Yes, you do look at your views on your videos that you upload. Like what gets, what gets the views are the thumbnails, the content, what you're talking about in the title. So you take a little bit of a gamble every time you make a thumbnail, every time you make a crazy title like that, because it's like, well, will this come off to the audience as something fun or something that they want to click on? Sometimes I'll make a thumbnail and it'll be like, I'll, I will think that I ate. I, I will think that like, oh, this is it. This is the thumbnail. This is iconic. This is going to be so many tens of thousands of views. And then it'll like not do that well. And then I'll put up another video where it's just kind of like a mediocre whatever kind of thumbnail. And it's like that, that one soars to the moon. It's like I don't, I don't really get it. So yeah, you kind of do have to pay attention to like what you do with every individual video because... I can't even take that seriously. She doesn't look at views for individual videos. She only looks at the month recap. Survey says that's a lie. <laughs> Nakama Rose. <laughs> oh my. You don't look at individual views. You yes you do. Yeah, you do, Amber. I think it's been for like the last year now. Um, I've steadily gotten the same amount of views per month. Monthly, which is what I like to look at, um, because it's what I've always looked at, has been the same for like the last year. Um, the views that I get, I'm so beyond grateful for. A lot of people are on YouTube and they don't even get that many. I started YouTube thinking that only like a hundred people would watch me and somehow, some way, things just got bigger, better, grander. Um, I got the most views. This is a lot of rambling. Um, I'm gonna, I have to blow my nose. I'm dying here. I thought that the Flonase thing was gonna help. It didn't, it made it worse. So I have to blow my nose. I'm gonna let this play. I'll be back in like literal, literal 20 seconds. When I was the least happy, when I was the least mobile, when I was the most miserable, when I was at my heaviest, when I was filming just mukbangs and the trolling. I don't consider that to be like a successful moment in my YouTube career just based on views. I think success is more than views. It's about the way that your audience is, how they treat you, how you treat them, the vibe around your channel, your content, your life. I don't think it's about views because if it was, the time in my life where I was the most miserable, trigger warning, unaliving, um, I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And it's not something I really talked about. I would share like small glimpses of that and try to talk about it. But then people would say I was just doing it for sympathy. To feel like you did not want to be alive anymore and sharing that and like slightly having a cry for help do you know what i was thinking of while i was blowing my nose i'm thinking oh my god the video <laughs> the video is playing while i'm not there what if she strikes me um ugh. did i miss one amber checks youtube every day no doubt she constantly checks her income from it yeah um i agree with you nicole i agree with you but i mean there's no way to prove that and it, it really is just our word against her. So like, whatever. Um, did I miss anything or was it just kind of like, whatever? I don't, I'm not rewinding. And for people to tell you that you're lying and you're only doing that for sympathy. That's a rough feeling. What? What? She seems to be very hung up on the whole, I'm calling her a liar thing. Do, do you guys not get that too? I feel like half of, we're almost halfway done with this thing. I feel like this whole episode has been her trying to call me someone that is calling her a liar. And that, 
especially, especially when it comes to the medical stuff. I don't do that. And I don't feel like I imply that either. There are other reaction channels and there are other avenues on the internet that do that. I've never done that. I've never been one of the reactors or one of the people that have said like, oh, Amber Lynn's lying about cancer. Like, I've never done that. It's like for her to come in with this whole angle at me of he is trying to say that I'm lying about like, no, I'm not. I have never done that. And like, I don't do that. And like, I continue will in the future not to do that. Like I, you're right. I don't come into doctor's appointments with you. I, I don't know your medical history. I don't know anything. So like, where would I get off saying something like that? But when it comes to the silly stuff, yeah. Like cigarettes on the counter, smoke gate, shrimp gate, like uh, just dumb little, like the Barbie t-shirt, fun little things like that. But like, girl, you you are you're trying to make me seem like I'm coming for you, like with about medical stuff, and like, I just don't get it. Like, I don't see it. I don't hear it. I don't do anything of the sort to the to relate to that. And yeah, I got a lot of views. Then I got a lot of money. I didn't like it. I did not like how I felt back then. My mental health is still rough. But how I feel now is better. And yes, I'm always looking for improvement. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So what she said, I guess, I, I don't know. I didn't hear the whole thing because I was in the bathroom. But I guess what she was saying was when she was going through a lot more and she was caught up in a lot more controversy and scandals and tea with other people and people were accusing her of certain things, she was making way more money, but she was also a lot more unhappy. So now that she is making less money, she's more happy? I don't know. Is anyone here, regardless of what you do, happier when you make significantly less money? Because just like knowing how YouTube works and knowing how like with the memberships, super chats, like during the live stream era, the views, ad revenue, all of that, Girl was doing very well, summer of 2021. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, comparatively to what she does now, it, it's a very significant pay cut. And so, I mean, for her to say, like, I'm happier now, but I'm making way less money, it's it's just interesting. I mean, okay, I'm never going to invalidate the way that you feel. You're going to feel the way you feel. It's just, that's just, um, okay. But when it comes to views, I'm very grateful for the ones that I have. So thinking about the ones that I no longer have serves me zero purpose. Rarity here, she absolutely agrees. Eating or crying, maybe 80,000. Like I remember the one thumbnail she made where she was like, Nick Okada ruined my life. And it was like her crying. That one got like 87,000 views or something. But I, it, it, guys, we, we cannot as a community I, I'm sorry, I just don't see the longevity here. I, I, I don't know why, but I feel like we are nearing, I hate to say it, but I feel like we're nearing the end. Like, uh, it, Of what? Reaction channels? Okay. But we are not nearing the end of Amberlynn Reed. I will be on here if I'm only making 5,000 views and I have to work flipping burgers down the street. I'm still going to be on YouTube. Nearing the end because I am trying my hardest to just be me and not, you know. Oh my gosh. No. No. Girl, you don't do this to get 5,000 views to make no money. You would not put stuff. No. Because, Okay. I, I feel like I don't even need to, uh, to like explain this to you all. Like we get it. We so get it. There's a trade off. Okay. For being a public figure. That means you don't have to go into a contemporary job. You don't have to commute. You don't have to do all these things. You make very easy money, but in return, you have to deal with the tomatoes and the flamethrowers and the nasty comments on Reddit, the nasty comments on Kiwi, the reaction channels, the, all of this. You cannot tell me that you would still want to endure that if you weren't making any money and you had to go flip burgers down the street. I, 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 guys, guys, party people. Oh, you no know, troll with mukbangs or 
troll with just all this nonsense that I've done in the past, I'm sorry there's not major drama to talk about or major talking points. Like this is just my day to day life. And that is what I've done from the very beginning. And if you are bored reacting to that, or if you know the longevity of this is uh, coming near for you, it's not going to last for you, then just give up because I'm not going to give up. I have thousands of people who wait for my content daily, who wait for my content every other day, who wait for my content weekly. Who um, this, this theory gets thrown around a lot and I've seen it talked about in the comments on Reddit and everything. Okay, so it would be like, well, what if the reactors all just stopped? What if we all stopped? And Amber Lynn's talked about this too. She thinks like, well, you know, if the reaction channels didn't exist, those people would come to me to watch the video. That, th those, those views would essentially be mine and that we're, we're taking them from her. Not the case, not the case at all, at all. Nothing of the sort. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just thinking to myself, like, girl, like theory, that theory that everybody always says to do, it's like, you know, what if all the reaction channels vanished or stopped making videos for a couple weeks or a month or whatever? We're just going to, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying the trend, the trend in views of what is going on right now, it's, it's on a decline. There, there, it's not, that's not me being shady. That, that's just me looking at numbers. So, I mean, if, I know that there is a direct correlation to reaction channels keeping you relevant. So if we go away on top of your views going down, I mean, what do you think that, what do you think is going to happen? And no, if she does, I, I'm just going to have to wait and see. After I laughed, I looked back at the face and that my sympathy bone was just like dangling. <laughs> Why do you have a dangling ankle? Cue the laugh from Jade. Love your vid story. My mentals is lentils. <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh my gosh, your icon. Your icon. Bad. Nicole, again! I hate constantly sending super chats. I don't. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm not kidding. All right. Wait, I'm not kidding. I'm serious. What? What was that all about? But I hate her constantly referring to herself in third person more. So here we are. <laughs> Amber Lynn Reed will still be here, even if I'm getting 5,000 views. Thanks, Nicole. 1.2 thousand little Jordies. Yeah, thanks for everybody. Um, apparently, if you like the stream, it does something for me. So, um... Yeah, like the little thumbs up button. If you could do that, that'd be helpful. <laughs> oh my, Hanny. Um, I don't recognize the, the currency, but thank you. Um, Amber always copies her girlfriend's personality. Jane must be a peachy, wonderful person to be around. Totally not condescending, bossy, and raging inside. <sighs> really? The whole concept with Jade on here. Guys, we know so little. We know so little. We don't know much. Um, so really, we can only tread the perimeter of what is likely to make sense or what could make sense. But, okay, so I see what you're saying. You're saying if if Jade, for an Amber for an Amber to copy Jade's personality in the way that she's acting recently, Jade has to be a peachy person. Okay, you're, you're being sarcastic, I get it. <laughs> Thanks, Annie. <laughs> Interesting little emoji you use there. I have never seen that emoji before. Ogre? The ogre emoji. Is that, is that YouTube specific? Um, drummer. Demangu? Demang. Demong. Demong. I can't believe I've actually caught a live stream a little. I love your content, Jordy. I listen to it while I walk to and from classes and while I eat. Oh, cool. Thank you. Wait, are you a college student and you listen to me while walking to and from class and when you're in? Do you eat alone at the dining hall? I sometimes did too. And I would watch YouTube videos by myself. Ah! <laughs> oh, I actually loved ASU's dining hall. Oh, it was so good. Oh, but that's that's so awesome. Thanks so much. Glad to have you around. Girl, I'm awake at 3 a.m. MT for 
Jordy to upload. Stop. MT. MT. Mountain time? Well, mountain time's an hour behind me. Maybe we're thinking about a different mountain. Maybe there's a mountain over in Europe that they call mountain time. I don't know. <laughs> CEO memes. Thanks so much. Honestly, I think at this point, reaction channels should really give her what she wants. Uh, she can get exactly what she asks for. What? What's that? What is that Pussycat Doll song? Be careful what you wish for. Because you just might get it. I mean, they say it a lot more sexy than I just did and they look a lot better. But hey, the principle still applies. Be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you ask for. She already said in the beginning of this episode she has no interest in winning her audience back. And if people are bored of reacting to her and she would be fine doing this and making 5000 Okay. All right. Okay. Noted. Who watch it while they're eating. Who watch it while they're on their way to work on a bus. Who watch it during their break time during school. Who That was weird how we were just talking about him going to, or her, but I'm sorry, uh, going to and from class listening to this. And then Amberlynn immediately said it. <laughs> Who watches it when they have anxiety? Who watches it when they're lonely? I am not going anywhere because of those people. And this is usually when people say, no, you're not going anywhere because of money. Sure, that's a plus too. This is my job. This is my job. But this is also where I'm happy and I want to be happier. And I just... Okay, so furthering the point. I really don't want to keep on pausing and talking about this because I feel like I've talked for way too long about it. But what she's saying or what she's implying here is that if it ever gets to the point where it isn't financially beneficial for her to do YouTube, she's going to do it regardless because of her audience and because of the people out there who watch to and from class, to and from work, to, you know, people who like to have this on in the background for anxiety. So Amber Lynn is suggesting to us that she would and will get a second job if financially it gets to the point where she needs to. Who believes that? Who believes that? Derek Robinson, thank you. I want the vibe around my channel to feel different and better, but I want to be able to do things like this where maybe I can discuss certain topics that are being talked about. Reaction channels are talking about me. I should be able to also talk about me. We, we can't be doing this. This isn't, this isn't fun. This isn't real. I, I feel like you guys are bored and you know, I, I get it. Like. It's a vlog. I can't talk for more than three seconds without her pausing it. It's a vlog. I don't, I, yes, there are reaction channels who react to songs or music videos or like little clips of things, but there is no. Again, again, I, I think that I've said this f because she keeps saying the same thing over and over again. So I guess I will too. It's not just about the vlog girl. It is the seven layer dip at the local neighborhood party that people are eating through. It's the Reddit. It's the comments. It's the Kiwi. It's the this. It's the, it's the Instagram stories. It's the telling them. It's, it's the reaction channels. It's so many different things. So, I mean, when you, at the top of this seven-layer dip, don't put anything that it'll trickle down into all these other layers, that's what I'm complaining about. That's what the audience isn't happy about. Because you know what your program's about. You know what the buzz is. You know, it's not just about, no, of course not. Like, I'm not expecting you to get, get on stilts and, you know, dribble a dribble me like I don't know what's that thing called where you like you put the basketball on your finger and you spin it around like I'm not expecting you to do anything like crazy and wild like I'm not expecting x factor on here is that a singing show America's got talent whatever <laughs> <laughs> I'm not expecting you to come on here and you know like breathe fire or whatever I'm just saying girl you know what your brand is you know what people want so when you don't give it to them 
people go hungry. And we can't just live on Diet Cokes and Chips Ahoy. Which, by the way, are in the back if you would like to go get a plate. I think Rarity has been around more since Save BBJ. Hmm. I don't know if there's a correlation between that. You think so? All cats, no gluten. <laughs> I love your username. <laughs> Poor BBJ. Poor BBJ. Reaction channel that is away from Amberlynn or Chantel who takes one creator or two creators, especially vloggers, oh my God, and reacts to every single one of their vlogs. I've tried to find it. I've tried. I can't find it anywhere. You're bored because you're reacting to a vlog of just a normal, everyday life person. This isn't the content that you should react to. React to something thrilling, something that people actually feel like is worth a reaction. Um, I'm grateful that you want to continue reacting to me, but I just don't, I don't, I don't see the point. I'm confused. So did she just, wait a second. Very interesting there. I'm actually very surprised that she just said that because that contradicts everything that she said in the past. Sorry, is this poll still active? End poll. There we go. My bad. She's grateful. She's grateful. So is that her admitting that there is a direct correlation between her making money and reaction channels existing? Why are you grateful? Clarification on that would be lovely. Because I thought that you don't like reaction channels. I thought that you wished they would go away. But you're grateful? I'm not grateful for th the things that I wish weren't around. That's a... Uh, that's a wild one on there. Savannah. Hey, Jordy, love your content. I freaked out when I saw Karina Kaboom's video that went over our girl's vlog. You're in the spotlight. Oh, I know. I know. It's, it's just so wild. So I started making videos maybe... February or March of this year. And like prior to that, like all of 2021, well, not all of 2021, the latter half of 2021, like I was just watching Karina. That's that's like the only version I watched. So it's just like wild to go from, you know, driving in my car, listening to a Karina Kaboom video to now Karina Kaboom is referencing me in her videos. It's just like, wow. <laughs> but thanks so much, Savannah. By the point. And I'm trying to find it. Reaction channels skirt around it. And they never like, like, what's the point? Like, why are you doing this? Why are you reacting to boring vlogs? Knowing my content is boring. I'm confused. You know, for me, and like, you know, the quirkiness and the comments and the stuff and all that, but... I know, I, I feel like I say this every week, and I feel like you guys are getting really sick of it, but exploring other options come 2023, it, it, it's gotta. Do it's it. Gotta, because I, I, can't, I can't be doing, you know, let, let me put on my makeup, uh, let me sit on this bench outside the doctor's office and tell you guys that my medical thing was a fluke. Uh, let's go inside this antique store and look at something. Like, girl. This is a vlog. I'm getting ready to go to the doctor's showing you my makeup, talking a bit about my past. I go to the- I, Guys, I cannot believe that this goes on for as long as it has been. I mean, she really is playing over the same part over and over again, pausing me every three seconds, saying, well, this is a vlog. What do you expect? Okay, I've explained it now 10 times. I'm not going to explain it an 11th time. Honestly, when, when it got to, what was that, like 24 minutes when she said mood switches and everything? Like, I thought the rest of the vlog was going to be juicy. <sighs> the doctor, I share my medical. Like, uh, sometimes I'm Girl, speechless. Your biggest competitor, not size, views, foodie booty. Not size. I didn't think that. Thanks for pointing that out, though. And comparing me to Chantel constantly, it's like, Okay, we're both two. It's Sean Tao, right? Tao. T A L. Tao. Because I've heard Sean Tall, Chantel. It's Sean Tao. 
females who are fat, but we are nothing alike. We live completely different lives. So why are we constantly comparing? Girl, you and Foodie Booty aren't alike at all. You're both making a living off of the same website facilitating drama. And you guys, like, whether you like it or not, I mean, like, you come up, you are a part of her program a little bit. Like, I don't even know. I wouldn't call Amber Lynn a side character on the Foodie Booty. Well, like, recently what happened with, like, the whole Nat or everything, she's, like, gotten the axe and everything. But, like, they talk about each other. They were they were friendly. They were friendly toward another in a way. So you you really don't you don't you don't draw any comparisons to Foodie whatsoever none like it's just a total coincidence that reaction channels out there who typically cover you also cover Foodie just just a wild coincidence two different people living separate lives like just mind blowing to you you don't get it not us watching Jordy react Amber react and Jordy react to <laughs> Jake. <laughs> Keto ice cream when? Bruh, at least FB is entertaining. <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Where? Where is it, though? I don't understand. She just flew across the world to the Middle East to meet her on my boyfriend three weeks. And I wish her nothing but luck. By the time this video is up, I don't know what is going on with Chantel? but as of right now she is literally in it to win it she is already there i am so happy for her and i wish her nothing but luck but yes she had to uncomfortably fly across the country for someone she loves while i get to sleep <laughs> wait she had to fly across the country <laughs> girl <laughs> she flew across the world <laughs> no wait she must have just misspoke there's no way that she doesn't yeah does she no yeah she knows that kuwait is on the other side of the world right she doesn't think that it's in canada no she misspoke she misspoke she had to have she had to have misspoke next to that person every single night so i don't see the comparison and that's not shade i'm just saying i would much rather have my life than have to fly across the country to meet someone that i love oh no she says it twice uh okay maybe she meant she 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 meant the the you know across countries across the ocean across the world she, that's what she meant right <laughs> oh my nicole hey she also shades foodie in this video it might even be right now she had to uncomfortably travel across the country for someone she loves while i while i had mine come to me <laughs> thanks nicole on my year abroad, hi Rose. Um, on my year abroad in Brazil, always wait to watch your videos in the uni canteen and wonder what Brazilians think when they look over at my screen. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, you're spending a whole year there? Oh, I wanted to do study abroad in college. I didn't end up doing it. Um, I think for my major, the only two places you could go were Israel and um, Ireland. And it's, I don't know, I just didn't. Didn't grab me, but that's awesome, Rose. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I cannot imagine what people think when, like, <laughs> it's just like these people talking on a screen about nothing. <laughs> like, please don't tell me that you watch these videos with volume on so that they can hear nearby. <laughs> like, please tell me you at least have earphones. Uh, Daichi Dude, I wouldn't have known for Amber was if it wasn't for Jordy. Love your content. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. So I brought someone into the Amberverse. Maybe that's what Amber's grateful for. Hmm. See? Concrete proof that I help contribute to Amber's success. Concrete proof. Dodgy Dune. Thank you so much. Um, ooh, you have a different font. Ainsley? 
I probably pronounced that correctly. Ainsley Jane, uh, vlogception. <laughs> it really is. Uh, thank you, Jordy, for making this cringe content entertaining. Your commentary feels like listening to a friend. Oh, thanks so much, Ainsley. You have a very unique name, by the way. I've never heard that before. It's really pretty. Uh, Yoslin Carlo Luna, new subreddit. <gasps> I don't know if I should promote that. But thanks, Yoslin. Look at the cat's face. Ah! <laughs> I didn't even see it. <laughs> the cat. The cat right now is like, Jordy, what are you doing? Is this really how you want to spend your time? <laughs> I'm thinking the same thing. I'm thinking the same thing. Oh my gosh. And I'll be I'll, okay. So we're like I don't know, it's about like two thirds through the way through this now, guys. I I really thought that this was going to be raging. I thought it was going to be tea. I thought it was going to be screaming. I thought it was going to be a lot more fun. This is I, honestly I don't even feel like I'm really involved in this video much because most of it is just her talking about whatever she wants, or or insinuating on what she thought I meant about things like that. Actually, like kind of irks me a little bit that she like went on that whole like tangent earlier about like me saying that I was insinuating that she was girl. I didn't do that. I've never done that, and I'm not going to ever do that. So like that actually like I don't like that. Um, I love watching your videos when I'm getting ready for school or going to bed. Oh, thanks, Caden. Good luck to the rest of your semester. Screenshot rarity. I expect thumbnails. Ah! <laughs> Be nano. I didn't want that, but I was kind of expecting it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and that's not shade. That's just me saying, if you're going to compare... At least make it make sense. And if you do find that content to be more entertaining, then find other vloggers who are like travel. Again, again, she is directly telling me to start making videos on other people. Okay. Everyone remembers this. Everyone knows this. Everyone has heard this. Okay. And look at my last, look at the, like, look at my uploads for the last week, the past seven days. Look at what I've put up. Just saying. Travel vloggers and react to them. Cause this ain't it. Not right now. Let me lose some weight first. Uh, figure out where I want to travel to first. And then we can get to that stage. T, that is something that people want to come to watch reaction channels on. Look at this little vase that's in the shape of a woman. Yes, that's T. People want to react to T. They want to react to drama. They want to react to entertainment. That's like shock value. I don't always got that for you. I don't always got that for you. And I Well, that's your brand. That's your brand, Amber. That's your job. That's what they expect from you. That's the what the audience wants. You don't always have it. Well, hun, I mean not everybody wants to wake up in the morning and go to work. Not everyone wants to wake up at, you know, 4:30 in the morning and get their lunch ready, shower, get in the car, make their way to work for a 6 a.m. shift. I mean, but if that's what you're going to build your platform on and that's what you're going to be known for and that's what you're going to profit off of, isn't it reasonable for me and other people in the audience to expect that from you? I mean, when you're doing one thing and people come for that one thing and you're doing the opposite, it's kind of like, well, I want my money back. <laughs> You know, like we don't we don't go to a baseball game to see people dance. We don't we I don't know. Like we don't go to a concert to not hear music. So, I mean, that's your brand. She there's no way that she genuinely believe, believes this though. There's no way. There's there's just no way. I I I can't I can't I can't comprehend that Amber Lynn would actually genuinely think this, like that this is like, has like doesn't have to do with money. And this has everything to do with like, uh, okay. I tried way too hard in 2019 to give that to people and it fucking ruined me I'm not doing it again. I'm not. It has a blemish on the breast and I think that we're going to buy it anyway. Like we did. I don't know you guys. And we love know. it. I don't know. 
Let's see these things. Our titties <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This stuff is cute. Like, even this is kind of cute. In a weird way. You guys, look at these erasers. It's like a bag of avocados. I wonder how well those erasers actually worked, though. Yeah, Hi. Hi. Twinkie gets so excited when we get home. Very. I have a haul. And that's the reason why I showed you guys is because I wanted you guys to see how excited she got. Right there, yeah, I have a Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from here. I, I you know, I love seeing Twinkie and everything, but what was that? Like a whole minute, it was just nothing. It was dead air. It was just her holding the phone horizontal. <sighs> Oh my god! Now she's gonna do it again! Oh my gosh! Her, the, the look on her face right now is, do I really have to repeat myself for a 20th time? I guess you do, because you don't understand what I mean behind that. <laughs> the look on her face right now. I, I even know what she's gonna say. I don't even have to unpause it. I know what she's gonna say. She's going to say... This is a vlog! I'm just filming my life! Okay. Alright, I'm here for it. Like, uh, maybe five seconds? I usually edit out all those moments, but I'm trying to be more real. I feel like constant like edits, like clip, 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 isn't as so authentic. So yeah, you heard me breathing for five to ten seconds. Oh, so we're interested in about authenticity now. Bad. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. This is your channel. You're the one reacting to it. Mm. Oh, Mark Okay, so first things first, we got some green curry. Uh, we already did the carbs on it and all that, so don't really worry. We still haven't we still tried it. We in the world market on a keto moment because there were some things we wanted. We got some pickles. This is just Brooklyn, Detroit, McClure's pickles. Um, I did get a couple. Usually when someone yawns, I'll yawn too. But I think he's yawned like twice so far and hasn't made me yawn not once. Weird. Is this what we're doing? Talking about the t amount of times I yawn. All right, when? Okay. Ooh, does she say anything about my fidget spinner? I actually, I'm actually curious to hear about that. And black pepper, Genoa. <laughs> that was good. And she got a lamb salami. My ass will not be touching that. I didn't touch it. <laughs> no. We also got some oil because we needed some more. So we got the olive oil from Spain. It's mild and buttery. So we're trying that. That's a gift. That's a gift. Like, do you see how bored he is? This is a vlog. This is too. So, don't be getting mad at me for making your video boring. Because this is a vlog. <laughs> don't be getting mad at me for making my video boring. Girl, that's not what's making it boring. The little fidget spinner is the entertainment, is the, you know, halftime Super Bowl show right now. <laughs> Dog. When does she talk about... So, cranes are special to clean. So, not only that, but this matched my Christmas decor. So, what are you in search of? What are you in need of? Because... I don't think I'm the one. Like, you might have to fire me. Because if you're this bored, you might have to fire me. I'm sorry. Because I'm not going to change my content for no reaction channel. Which, I get it. We're all here to make a pretty penny. I get it. But it's like, you're miserable. Poor thing. So good. So yeah, is everything good? Okay, you guys. <laughs> You're miserable, poor thing.
To me, no, but she does get mad when you play with your fidget spinner. She never directly says that's why you're angry aboard, but it's clear that's what she assumes. I know, but then she'll say, I assume things and I assinuate things. Can you believe it? Where is my fidget spinner? No, oh, it's, it's napping. Guys, okay, you know what? Somebody said earlier that she talks about the Instagram thing. Like, can, oh, like, what, what time stamp? Like, I'm just curious. Like, what time stamp was that at? If, if, like, anybody knows that, like, that'd be so amazing if you could tell me. Time that I changed my purse. I've been using <laughs> And this is another segment I love to watch vloggers do. I love to see what's in their purses. So that's why I did it as well. And let me guess, he's going to be so good. Because people don't make reaction videos on this. Unless you're pulling out a freaking dildo and a whole bag of hot Cheetos and a fucking rubber ducky. Like, okay, that's absurd and obscene. But this is just a regular vlog. <laughs> I'm bored watching you watch me. Like, I could never watch reactions of my favorite vloggers. How boring. What is the point of this? This video more than ever. This, it honestly hurts home with this whole thing. Sorry, I think I missed one. Rach. Amber's a react channel now. <laughs> apparently, apparently. Because we're not even getting vlogs now. We're just getting, I don't know, me. Um, I'm actually really surprised that she's taking this approach because Amber knows like the game. You know what I mean? Amber knows the game. And for her to get on here and just say like, well, why are you reacting to me? Go, go do somebody else. I'm a vlogger. I only do this for vlogs. Like girl, you know that that's not what it's about at all in the slightest. So really, I don't know, when I, before I sat down to make this, I was really expecting this to be a lot more messy, a lot more raging, a lot more drama, a lot more, you know, things that people would clip and put in, you know, Twitter videos and stuff. I was expecting that. I was expecting a little bit of a chance at a revival starting drama with reaction channels. But like, honestly, it's... Really, she's not even really starting drama with me. She's not even really doing anything. I mean, like, the only thing that she's really done in this whole vlog is say that I insinuate that she lies about her medical stuff, which I don't, by the way. But, like, other than that, it this, this video is just her telling me, and I guess you guys, don't watch if you're bored. And it, it, th that's, like, really not the approach I was expecting from her. I don't get it. I don't get it. Ever, I think, has made me realize, like, truly, what is the point of reaction channels? I feel like I'm going down a weird tunnel. Like, I feel like I'm on a, a different planet. What is the point of this? I'm so... Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Like... Maybe, maybe she genuinely wants to stop and this is her way of doing it. I, I don't know. I don't know. But when I sat down to, I thought that this was going to be a lot more messy. I thought that there were going to be accusations. I thought that there was going to be tea. I really did not think that this was going to be an hour and eight minutes of her just sitting there like being like, well, then why watch? Well, then why watch? It's a vlog. What do you expect? I mean, maybe she is done. Maybe she is done. And I mean, you know, I, I, I'm I, more than happy to, you know, foodie booty and other content and everything. Because, I mean, if this really, if, if it is going to continue to be what it has been the past year and a half, how long, have we, how long has the season been? Like August of 2021, about a year and a half-ish. Guys, I don't know if we have another year. I don't know if we have six more months of this because if it's just going to be videos of like whatever, you know, here's what I bought at Walmart. 
it's so obvious that viewership is down and people don't care. For a while, it was kind of cute. We were reaching for things. We were being like, okay, like, you know, let's make drama out of this. Let's do this. Let's, you know, say this. But maybe she's just like over it. Maybe she's genuinely over it. I I, I don't know. And what what did they say about Rome? You know, the empire that can only fall by its own doing. Because I'm not making her channel lose views. If anything, I'm helping it. So really, it's going to come down to effort and caring about whether or not she wants to continue to do this whole thing here on YouTube. I... And I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it because what she's telling us is she doesn't care. And when people say it, believe them. Um, you're awesome, bro. God bless. Thanks, Alex. It's really sweet of you. Uh, the thing is you make your channel Jordy, not Amber Lynn. I think she knows that too. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it is. Like, like Karina said in her video earlier today. Like... This is no longer Amber Lynn. Like when I sit down with OBS and I pull up her screen and I pull up my camera and I, you know, put up my green screen or whatever. This is now Jordy reacts to Amber. This isn't Jordy plus Amber. So I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I do. I, I try to make it as much as my own thing as possible. And I, I, I think that everyone sees that. <laughs> Winter Allen says facts. <laughs> Little Jordies. <laughs> Little Jordies. We're party people here. <laughs> Little, I do like Little Jordies. That, that is cute. <laughs> Not big. Not to be confused with big. Confused. I've been using this Telfar purse, which Celine got me um, a while ago. And I've been using it forever. <laughs> But, uh, there's kind of just, like, a lot of stuff in it that I just, like, throw in it because when I have a bigger purse, that's just what I do. So I'm going to switch from the Telfar to literally just some cheapo purse. Cheapo? I, I hate to keep bringing this up, but, I mean, you saw I just skipped through, like, a whole minute. I, I, I couldn't do, like, the, the kitchen counter haul of, like, look what I bought. Like, I, I mean, really? This is the whole episode? Let me put on makeup. The same thing over and over again. That's all this video is. Me calling it boring. Me asking her to show interest in the brand that she's created over the past 10 years. Me begging for tea. That's what she's known for. And then her pausing the video and saying, Girl, it's a video about my life. It's vlogging. What do you expect? That's all it is over and over again. We are, we're, we are a fish in a fishbowl just running into the same wall. We swim into the wall. We bop our no Do fishes have nose? We bop our noses onto the fishbowl. We, we, we go back a little bit. We're dazed and confused. We swim forward again. We hit the wall again. We, we're dazed and confused. Like, is that all this is? Is that all that this is? I, I honestly could be saying the same thing. Like, wait for the fucking next one. Like, you're complaining about my content while your content is like no different. Like the boring vlog is literally on your channel now too. None of it adds up. Nothing happened at the doctor's office. Look at Nothing happened at the doctor's office. Oh my God, she's going to try to say that I said uh, nothing happened and she wasn't uh, diagnosed or whatever. I, okay, if that's what she does, I'm going to be so annoyed. But if, okay, I said nothing happened as in like we didn't really do much. We didn't do much filming there. Nothing really went on. If she tries to say that I am saying that nothing went on. Oh my gosh. Girl, are you really going to take it that way? Really? I got fucking good news. And I shared that. Like, what did you want? Like, you guys, I do have a nodule. It got bigger. Like, what do you mean nothing happens? I have amazing news. 
Is that not a good enough, like, clickbait title for you? Like, I don't get it. Like, I wanted to give you a chance at the beginning of this, and you can even go back and watch. I wanted to, but, like, what is happening? This, like, took a turn, for sure. Because I try to give people ben benefit of the doubt. Oh. No, you don't. Where was uh, Bottle's benefit of the doubt? Where was Apathetic Facts's benefit of the doubt? Where was CXNT's be uh, benefit of the doubt? Where was Sinatra Says Second benefit of the doubt when you got all of their channels struck? And you took away their income, which by the way, you say that you don't care about. Money doesn't really matter to you. You're here for the content. You'll be flipping burgers if not. You know, so where was the benefit of the doubt for four people that where you tried to come for their income? Where, where was theirs? That's a good question. Hi, GC. Thanks so much. <gasps> Dodgy doing again. Pop off, Jordy. I'm just saying. Just saying. That's all I'm doing. Just me. Pointless little old me. Just saying. And if, if we don't have to listen to our chew food ever again, I'm okay with reactions to other people. <laughs> Quinn. <laughs> uh, call me Beat me. Oh, from uh, Kim Possible. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. Da, 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 da. I don't remember how the rest of it goes. The thing is you make, oh wait, we already went, we already went over yours. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just didn't read your uh, thing before. So I thought it was a new one. Um, she, I just realized her MacBook and laptop and reaction videos are her only other friend aside from Uber East and Jade. <gasps> Nicole, bad, bad, mean. Love you, Jordy, all the way from tiny New Zealand. Oh! little old New Zealand. New Zealand's beautiful. That's where they filmed more Lord of the Rings, right? I know that they film a lot of movies there. Like, it's beautiful there. I'd love to visit someday. You make my day brighter, and your heart is clearly big. Yes, big and kind. Amber loves to twist words. Mm, twisting words. I think you're right on that. Thanks, Aoki. Boys. Stuff we're buying. Let me change the contents of my purse to a different purse. I, I, I love some, vlogs some, like that. Some type of conversation better come up in the next three minutes, or this is just what I've had forever. I usually switch purses more often, but I'm obsessed with the Telfar, and she also got me Telfar earrings. I have so much shit in here, so I'm about to show you. I wish this was a joke. So it was a lot of cool. stuff. In my side pocket, I have a Carmex, which Carmex. I, right I actually pronounced I that wrong. Love this stuff. How it smells, feels, looks. A $5 bill, a $1 bill. Now in the big section. You, you'd think I was trolling. I'm not trolling. When I say I'm not trolling, I mean I'm not trolling. I've been lugging this around. This is Alex. Hey. Oh, let me speak first. So, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was about to say, this just like also proves that like he relies on me for his channel. Truly. Because it's like he had nothing else to upload. He had nothing else to say, nothing else to talk about. Well, sweetheart, keep, keep telling me, keep telling people that you don't want reaction channels and keep telling people that you're okay with 5,000 views. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> because I can go make videos about other stuff and I can, you know, communicate my charm and my wit and my comedy into other things. Like, uh, honey, I, I'm not, I'm not totally like, you know, relying on you 100%. I'm not, and I don't need to. So, I mean, it keeps, keep, uh, pussy cat dolls. Be careful what you wish for. Uh, LMA, it's Coco. If we wanted to watch you, Amber, we would. Heart you, George. Thanks, Coco. The name of my dog. I have a dog named Coco. <laughs> and that's also a cute little movie, a cute little Disney movie, Coco. Uh, Holly, thanks so much for the dollar. Oh, my gosh. Clearly. Wait. You know what I just thought for a second? She said that I wouldn't have anything to upload if she wouldn't have put up an upload. But does it, isn't that the case for what she's doing right here? Because she's reacting to me, reacting to her. So what would you have done otherwise? Just filmed the apartment, said this is what I had for dinner. This is what I ordered from the store. How does that make sense? So it's like, he's miserable in this whole video, and yet he's still like, let me upload this. Let me do that. I'm confused. Genuinely. 
her response would be to my just complete boredom watching this. She would say, you know what Amber Lynn would say? Well, then why do you watch? Well, then why do you make... <laughs> Because you know it looks stupid. It looks stupid. I'm not calling you stupid, but it looks dumb. It like literally looks dumb. Action videos if it's, if it's so boring. And you know what? That's that's probably the worst attitude and the worst viewpoint she could have of it. Because as much No. A absolutely not. I completely one hundred and million quadrillion uh, the biggest number in the whole world disagree with you. You are reacting to a vlog, a vlog of a daily life person who just got over. Okay, she she's just saying what she said already a thousand times in this video. And <clears throat> Yoslin, thanks so much. Dodgy Dune, where you go, Jordy, I'll follow you're the best. Oh, I love the little bat emoji. <laughs> thanks so much. But what about keto? Is it officially dead? We haven't gotten an update. Um honestly it, had i not put up this video i guess or actually not made a video about me um it might have been a keto update so i don't know but also we, we kind of just let things when things don't work out on this program we kind of just let them fall by the wayside and then when enough people ask her about it she'll go oh yeah that old thing i oh, know that didn't work out like she'll never come out and be like well you know sorry this this wasn't for me or whatever because like that's what that's what happened with ozempic uh, Kayla, just want to reiterate that I watch you for you, not Amber. I'll watch no matter what. Thanks so much, Kayla. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to have you here. Guys, I, I can't listen to her say the same thing over and over again. Really, what I want to hear about through the rest of this, what is it, 18 minutes, I really want to hear about the Instagram thing. Did, did anybody get a timestamp on that when she talks about the Instagram thing? But, like, I, I can't. If she's just, like, going to be like, oh, then why do you watch? Don't watch me. Like, it, it, it's just been that for the past. Nima that I am trying to figure out. I can't. I... What is it that you want? Tea! Dry! Tea! <laughs> <laughs> this picture of Amber. Her asking, what do you want? My response to this hand on face on the other side of the screen. Girl, I want what I signed up for. I want what you've built your brand on on YouTube. I want you to give me Amber Lynn Reed. And the audience wants Amber Lynn Reed too. We want Amber Lynn Reed. Give it to us. Because what we've gotten this past year and a half, that's not Amber Lynn Reed. Uh-uh. I don't have what, what you're looking for. Fire me. Fire me. Uh! Uh! Fire me. Did you see the way she said that too? Hold on. 50, 40. Just she, she, literally, guys, she doesn't want people to be involved like this anymore. I, I don't know how much more clear she can say it. Fire me. You don't point your chin up like that and say it in that tone unless you mean it. I don't have what, what you're looking for. Fire me, please. And I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to my viewers, haters or supporters. I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to you, the reactor. Fire me. Truly. And... I, I just, I don't know what kind of content you want to react to. I'm not making my vlogs of my life. Well, then why was the live stream era so fire? I mean, subjectively fire, but like people looked forward to those. I, I know I did Tuesdays and Thursdays. I remember it coming in Tuesdays and Thursdays, them on the couch doing whatever. Like it was fun. It was entertaining. What you do the past year and a half, not fun, not entertaining. So... There's an example for you. Reactable. I'm making them for the people who enjoy them for the right reason. She is really going to die on this hill. That she is a YouTuber and wants to do this because it is for the people out there going to and from work or the people that like to have her videos on in the background. She is going to die on that hill as to why she does this. 
And it's just like so not true. And it just comes across so inauthentic. Like, girl, you you said that this is your full-time job. It's your full-time job. It's for money, engagement, supporters, community. It, it's all of that. It's not about, you know, Cindy Lou Who's commute on the way to work. Like, you don't care about that. And if you were getting 5,000 views, oh my gosh, like, really? Okay. All right. I'm probably coming off as a bitch right now, but I just find this. Honestly, she's not even coming off as that. She's coming off as just very confusing. Very confusing. And I feel like, in a way, this is trolling. In a way, this is trolling. Because you can't get on here. You can't build the platform. You can't do what you have done the past 10 years on this website. Understood how you have made this much money, but also at the same time, not comprehend what I'm trying to express to you and what I'm complaining about and why I'm saying this is detrimental to your channel. So... There has to be some type of component here where she actually understands. I I'm more confused than anything. I, I It's frustrating. I find it confusing. I find it exhausting. Aren't you exhausted? I don't even know anymore just because of like recent events. Like, as you guys don't know, she watched my... She put up my one episode from the other day on her Halloween live stream. On Halloween, she got on here and I did. she was like talking to viewers and everything. She's like, okay, who should I react to? And she put up like... Nicole, love your videos, Jordy. She may be watching this live stream. Just posted to the community page. Oh, yeah? Did Christmas come early? Oh, my gosh. Does anybody else have really bad acid reflux? Ugh. Uh... I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think that that's really relevant to what we're talking about. I don't think it really has anything to do with anything. Videos from the Thanks for the super chat. The whole narcolert thing happened with the, uh, I don't care that they had a heart attack thing. But she Which I already explained. I already said I was sorry. I was not, that was not a good side of me at all. And I know a lot of people can't take apologies seriously because they believe in the whole, you're only sorry you got. The thing, well, no, it, it wasn't even so much you only sorry you got caught and everything because Amber Lynn took ample time to say that. Because what what is that old thing? You know, count to 10 before you say something you might regret. Amber Lynn sat there for a very long time and still said it. So she, if she really knew that that was going to come across and she didn't mean that, she wouldn't have said it. But if you go back and watch the Halloween live stream, she took a while to say like, I don't care. I'm looking for my sympathy bone. I mean, that really doesn't come across to me as someone who gave that a lot of thought or feels genuinely sorry. Just, I don't know. Observation. Got caught situation. I will never, ever apologize if I don't mean it. That's something that I stand by and will forever stand by. So if you ever hear me apologizing for something, it's because I truly mean it. I just want to make that clear. My channel for like a good minute or two and she watched my videos and she was like cracking up. But the week before that, she was like, um, Jordy's disgusting, foul. I think, I think that's a word. Um, I was laughing because, you know, if someone says something funny and I think it's funny, even if- Oh, hey, Narc Alert. Hope you're having a good night. Glad you could tune in for a little bit. I feel like if all I did was sit at home all day, my vlogs would be edited better and not as boring. Well, you'd you'd think so, Macy. You'd think so. But I think I think I mean this this is really anybody in any in not even just specific to Amber Lynn. It's like when you get too comfortable and you feel like you don't have to put in the effort, you feel like you can just get that easy money, whatever. Just saying, big shock, big shock when things, uh, you know, don't, it's kind of, kind of like a, you don't realize what you have until it's gone kind of thing. So yeah, I feel like I would too, Macy. I agree with you. 1.4 thousand little Jordies. <laughs> oh my gosh. But if you were loving everything she did, she wouldn't mind the reacting. She wouldn't react to my video if it was all positive.
Joy just cover foodie, wall tuna, and give her a taste of what she wants. Blake, I, I mean, it, 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 watching <laughs> me going, <laughs> me, watching this whole thing, you guys have to understand where I'm coming from when I say that she doesn't want it anymore. And it, it's a direct correlation to what has been happening recently. The subreddit's going down, reactors moving on. Just, it, it, it's all combined. It is, it's, it, it's, when I say it's that seven layer dip, that holistic community, you know, we, we're all the glue that holds each other together. When one component of it starts to lack, it affects everything else. Have you seen her react to Tom Harlock? Uh, you upset her just the same, in my opinion, by the way. Hi, Merck. Uh, no, I haven't. How long ago was that? It must have been a while. It must have been a while because she hasn't done a react. She, this, to my knowledge, this is like the first. I mean, she's like made videos about Zachary, Michael, and like done things about other reactors. But like to actually like sit down and watch an entire video like this. Uh, Dodgy Dune. Love how she backpedals on everything. <laughs> well. If I hate them, I'm going to laugh. And yes. Before I did call you foul because you were putting out into the world or into your little community that I was lying about my hospital visit. And yeah, that upset me. That Girl, you didn't watch the video. No, I didn't. I didn't do that. I never did that. Never did I ever do that. And if you cared to watch my video and not just look at the thumbnail, you would know that. That frustrated me. It angered me. You foul. I'm foul. So I don't really know where her at, where like her view of me stands at the moment. Oh, where does my view? Um, Freckled Unicorn's going to bed, everybody. Can you say the nice alert? <laughs> okay. The nice alert. <laughs> Where do I stand with Amber Lynn? What do you think that she's going to say, you guys? I don't know. But like, I'm telling you what, I'm telling you what, if it's, if it's more of the same, if we don't get a shakeup, if we don't get something, I'm not going to be standing at all. I'm going to go be standing in the Middle East. I'm going to go be standing with, I, I, I don't know who, but like, it, it's, it's not going to be here view of you stand this is quite the video for me to react to i'm not gonna lie i was like meant to watch this i think i love when the universe just like goes amberlynn taps me on my shoulder there's something i need you to do i listened this time i did my view of you is ah! the universe told her to go watch my random little video from last week <laughs> what you react to me for views you react to me for money you are bored with me and you complain about literally almost everything like it's it's almost insufferable it's like hard to watch um that is a common denominator with reaction channels and me y'all complain constantly it's very rare that you say something nice about me and when you do it's like condescending or passive aggressive or it's like you're not shouting it as loud as your complaints this is something mm, was that even answering the question my view my view of you she just said what i do i upload videos for views which you know equals money but uh, that didn't really answer the question. Like, what is your view of that, though? Like, how do you feel about that? Because that, that's like what the question was originally. So she didn't really answer it, but oh well. Behind the scenes that went on, I'm not really wanting to disclose at the moment, but maybe in the future, maybe when the time's right. Oh. Uh, a little, little foreshadowing. But okay. Okay. back to my main. So, we're, okay. So we're doing a little bit of a. Uh, what do you want to call this? A uh, cliffhanger, if you will. I can just tell you. I watched 
like I said, I've seen a couple of his videos. I saw in one where he said something like we should, Amber Lynn should like, like we should just talk. I don't remember what it was. So I was like, okay. Because I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I'm not this like cold hearted person. I'm not malicious. Like truly people have the wrong idea of me. Truly. Like unless the people in my life are lying to me, then they tell me y'all have the wrong idea of me as well. I found his Instagram and I sent him an emoji. It was just the waving hand and he replied back to it. I didn't respond. I didn't know. Ah! You all lied to me. You said that she said that I didn't respond. She said that she messaged me, I responded, and then she didn't reply. Which, that leads me to the whole gift gate thing. Because she sent something about Shit's Creek. It was a gif of that guy, that main character. What is his name? What is his name? The, the, uh, the dark-haired guy. Uh, Shit's Creek cast. Dan Levy. David Rose. It was something to do with him. It was a gif of him. And then as soon as I clicked on it, it vanished. It, it went away. So, you, so people in the chat were saying that she unsent it. And that's why I was only able to see it for like 0 0.1 seconds. What was the Shit's Creek gif, Amber? <laughs> I need to know what it was. What to say? I just, it was kind of like a, a peace offering, if you will, because I don't do this whole like drama thing. Like, I try to, you know. She doesn't do this whole drama thing. Okay. Okay. I'm starting I'm starting to put the pieces of the puzzle together. I think what's going on here is Amber Lynn is trying to play a character to confuse us or confuse me. Cuz the whole video she was acting like she didn't know what I was saying. She was genuinely concerned or wondered why I was reacting at all. I was saying, "Girl, you know why. Girl, you know why." Clicks, involvement, views, money. You know why. But now she's trying to say, I don't do the whole drama thing. So I think what she's trying to do is try to get a rise out of the community by saying that. Because she knows like what her channel brand is and she knows like what gets money and everything. So maybe by her saying that, that riles up the community to say, girl, yes, you do. You know what you're doing. So maybe that's the angle she's going on. This is some advanced level stuff. This is some top tier trolling. If that's the angle she went for. Huh. You know, have this like peace offering situation type deal with Callie, uh, Life of a Free Spirit. And she just fake. She's so fake. Oh my God. Like, I um, okay. Something I want to bring up to you all. It doesn't really have anything to do with what we're talking about right here. But, like, I had not heard about this pre previously. I had never heard about this. But um, I heard about it on Karina's channel. So I just want to reiterate it here. Because it was kind of wild to me. And not not it wasn't surprising necessarily. But I was kind of like, oh, wow. So in Karina's video earlier today, she said that... I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a video or a live stream or what, but Life of a Free Spirit. I don't know if they were on video call or what they were doing, but they were conversing some way somehow. Life of a Free Spirit somehow said or knows that Amber Lynn had a 10-page history report of reporting other people on YouTube. 10 pages worth of reports. If anyone knows more about that or knows more about like, was, was this a video that Life of the Spirit? I'm just so surprised that this is the first time I'm hearing about this. So 
please let me know, like, is there a video specifically on this? A 10-page report on on reporting other channels. That's pretty significant. I get it. People have to make their buck by hating me or disliking me, strongly disliking me enough to have their whole channel rely on me and to just complain. I get it. But um, I've even tried to talk to, like, to Zachary Michael. Like, I'm just not this malicious, horrible monster. It's not who I am. She would tell me and all these other people. Like, she pulled up Zachary Michael's video, I think it was, like, two, three weeks ago. And he, it, was, it was a clip of him going, boring, boring, end the video, end the video. You, you gotta step it up, hon. You have to step it up. I'm not, this is where you are. <laughs> are we about to get a rage i think that we're about to get a little bit of a rage this is where you are freaking wrong i am a vlogger i vlog <laughs> guys do you think that she's trying to play the part of innocent youtuber and then therefore she knows consciously knows that that upsets people because like they know that that's not what the t is they they know that that's not like what the gig is so it like in result it causes an uproar which causes the engagement which causes that that's 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 an interesting theory that's in justin hey ho hey hello 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 <laughs> Hello, haters. It's ready. Oh, uh, thanks, Justin. Thanks for tuning in. Glad you're here. Oh my gosh, she's about to flip out here. Let me let me. Uh, as soon as those words came out of my mouth when I said, "Girl, you have to step it up," I knew that that was gonna set her over. Hold on. I'm not. This is where you are fucking like confused. Maybe I'm not stepping it up for you guys. I'm sorry, but I'm not. I'm grateful for my views. I like where my views are. Y'all have more issues with my views than I have issues with my own. Like, it's absurd. I'm not stepping it up for you. The people who enjoy my content for the right reasons are enjoying my content for the right reasons. That's, that's literally the bottom line. And I will forever be grateful for my views and for the people who watch me forever okay i'm here for it i'm here for it we did get a little bit of a rage we had a little bit of a rage around 23 24 minutes but then we got one here okay all right all right there that was a lot to go through this big red bar right here yes big this big red bar so it was like hot tea right around here cup of flour 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 rage so right around like 56 minutes oh that was iconic Oh. Uh, Justin, goodbye. <laughs> Hope you can stick around a little bit more. Uh, Dodgy Dune, she can't even take constructive criticism. She knows what she's doing. I feel like she's been in the game long enough. Girl, Dodgy, I think that you just hit the nail on the head. I, I really do. I think that you did. I think that you did. Um, hi, Kat. I'm having a rough night, but seeing you being so lively while reacting to our girl is making me feel better. Much love and keep doing great work. Oh, thanks, Kat. Very generous of you. Glad you could uh, make it tonight. Like, I Cardi B voice, what was the reason? <laughs> I don't say it enough, and I should, but like, I ain't stepping up nothing. Why? Why, Amber? Why don't you want to step it up? Come on! <laughs> I mean, I I guess that I can't. I, I can't. If she's going to out and out say, guys, if she is going to out and out say, I do not have interest in this. I have no interest in winning back my audience. I have no interest in providing more. I am happy with what I'm doing. I can't come for her. I can't come for her or that philosophy or anything. I can be confused by it. It doesn't go along with everything else in this program. But 
Okay. I, I think that really the point has been driven home. I really do. I think that she has made herself clear on what she wants and what she, how she wants to do it. I'm going to continue trying to be as relatable as possible. And you know what's not relatable? A 500 pound girl skydiving. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm... Step it up. This is my life right now. I'm, you know, there are days where it is so hard for me to turn on the camera. There are days where sometimes it's like, I wish I had another source of income so I can go outside of myself. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. She said it. She said it. I wish that I had other streams of income so that I didn't have to do this. By saying that, you are directly saying that you have to be here. And it completely contradicts what you just said of being of wanting to be here. I, I don't know how more clear this can be. I, I, I really don't. And girl, I'm not saying that you need to go skydiving. I'm not saying that you need to get on stilts and do the basketball thing on your finger or you know, cr breathe fire. Like, I'm not saying to do any of those things. I'm just saying that you know your brand. You know what you've built here. You know what people are here to see. You know what it's all about. So obviously people are going to get frustrated and they're going to get bored when you don't do that. It is. It's going to the baseball game and seeing people dance. Like they came to watch a baseball game. They didn't, they didn't come to see dancing. They, you know, they don't come to the Amber Lynn Reed channel to say, look at what I, you know, look what, you know, Susie Q brought me from Walmart. Look, oh, look at these new things. Like, no girl. It, it hasn't been like that for the past several years. And that's not what people want from you. You know what they want from you. Marcelina Bennett, $10. Thank you so much. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Marcelina? Mar Marcelina? Marcelina. Marcelina. There was a character on a show I like named Marceline. Maybe you're just Marcelina? Hmm. Or maybe I butchered it completely and I'm making a fool of myself. Smiling depression. This video is so raw, you guys. It is! It is raw! You know what? It's, it's really spiced up toward the end here. She, she really, at the 24-minute mark when she did the whole mood switches thing, it should have been down here because this is where it's getting spicy. <laughs> Nicole, imagine thinking doing what she currently does compared to flipping burgers and thinking it's not the same level of income and payment. It's not. Oh, oh, I see what you mean, Nicole. I see what you mean. And I do. I have I, I have a lot of respect and reverence for ser for service workers because I, I know, I, I know like how, well, not, not like personally, but <laughs> that makes me sound inauthentic. But like, I know how hard it is. I know how those people, the, the crappy wages, how they're treated, the shifts, everything like that. So I, I know what you mean. It's, it's not the same level of effort uh, or competence or anything of the sort. Uh, I just pay a dollar per pound to see her skydive. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Justin. Oh, <laughs> bad. Bad, Justin. <laughs> Oh, all right. Keep going. Keep going. For money. Because to make money, I have to talk about myself. And as much as I'm grateful, sometimes it's hard because my mental health can be bad. It could be Okay. Well, then this isn't for you then. Noted. Heard. Noted and heard. That doesn't apply for everyone. Some people would thrive in this kind of environment. Not everyone's meant for it. I understand. I understand. I actually, that's, that's a very, very good point. I understand. It'd be so bad. So the fact on days where I don't even want to like whisper a letter out of my- Here's the thing though. Here is the thing though. Brand, platform, history, what you've created. Not everyone wants to get up and work in the morning. And that's just how you have to view it. That's how you have to view it. Everyone has depression. Everyone has anxiety. Everyone doesn't want to get up out of bed in the morning some days and go to work. You know, get in the shower, pack their lunch, go deal with coworkers that they absolutely hate. I don't see how that's any different from YouTube. Some days you don't want to get out the camera because you feel a certain type of... Girl, 
I mean, is this a job or isn't this a job? That's that's my argument. That's my argument. My mouth, I still manage to find some weird energy. Uh, Isabel asks, do you ever accept fan art just because I kind of want to draw out of a cartoon of you as your favorite Adventure Time character? <gasps> fan or Marshall Lee? Oh, oh my gosh. Isabel, that would be so cool. Okay, um... Draw me? Oh my gosh. If you could... Do, my favorite Adventure Time character is Peppermint Butler. <laughs> if you could do... So, oh my gosh. I would love that. I would absolutely love if you could do something with Peppermint Butler. Because that's my favorite character. She <laughs> inside of me to even film for thousands of people to just tear me apart. Like, says a lot that I am, I'm trying already in my own way. Um, you might not see it or understand it, but. Also, another thing, use your platform for a transformation. If you don't want it to be all about tea and drama or whatever, I don't know, maybe explore a comedy route, maybe explore something, something, keyword, operative word, something. But it's, it's not, look, you know, look at this bag of Walmart. It, it, it's not that. So, I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's fine and everything. I'm just letting you know what's going to happen eventually and what has ha what has been going on. So. But you know what? I'm upping my shit in a different way. I'm not going to up my shit for you. I'm sorry. Upping your shit in a different way? What does that mean? Does, does that mean like glow up IRL? I think I think that that's what she meant by that. She is she means like a glow up IRL. Um yeah, okay. All right. I don't know. That that could be interpreted many different ways. Uh that's it. I'm sending a super chat every time she says this is a vlog. <laughs> Not Ann Sawyer. <laughs> Thanks so much. Please coin the term Becky's ex aesthetically pleasing girl already started it. <laughs> Becky's ex. Well, guys, honestly, honestly, after watching this video and making her stance clear uh, on what it is, in the coming weeks, in the coming episodes, in the coming everything, it really, throughout the end of the year, time will tell if there will even be anything to coin at all. I I'm just saying. Uh, Nicole, if you ever made a Discord, Damon White would be a great mod. Damon White? Who is that? Should I know who that is? Are you going to read me for not knowing who that is? Damon White. I googled Damon White and it just says that he is a Australian football player. I don't think that's who you're referring to. Is that another reactor? I'm sorry. Uh, thank you for the super chat, Nicole. Uh, Justin, holy cow! Last one. Oh, Justin, you've you've been in other streams before. I really appreciate it. It's very generous of you. Um, last one. I'm going back to where. Have a good night, girls. Keep fighting the good fight, Jordy. <laughs> Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. Not Aunt Sawyer. She must have said this is a vlog because Naughty, Naughty Aunt Sawyer came in again. Yes, Jordy. Marceline. I like Marceline the Vampire Queen. Oh my god, you know who I'm talking about! Ah! Side video. This video... <coughs> Sorry. My uvula didn't like that. <laughs> uh... Yes, Jordy, Marcelina, like Marceline the Vampire Queen. Love that. Absolutely love that. Sidebar, this video of hers reminds me of watching critty, cringy middle school plays. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did, um, oh my gosh, I did the Susicle when I was in middle school, but I wasn't in the play. I, I helped make props. That's my only play experience. But plays are fun. Plays are fun. Cringy middle school plays. See, cringy middle school plays can be fun if they're cringy and fun and transformative. But if they're up on stage and it's just a bunch of 13-year-olds with bags of Walmart saying, here's my thing of bell pepper, people are going to walk out, you know? <laughs> what am I saying? Not Ann Sawyer. Not Ann Sawyer. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dodgy dude. Hey, um, this is my last super chat, but I hope you have a great night. Thanks for pronouncing my name correct. You're the first to get it right. Of course. Dodgy dude, doing my best. But thanks for hanging out. Thank you for everything that you've sent in. I know that you've been really consistent throughout here, throughout the night and everything. And I really appreciate it. That's very generous of you. I wasn't around for Damon White either. Ah! Oh my God! Amber's in the chat! Ah! <laughs> oh my God! Amber's 
stepping it up. She's here. Oh! Wait, girl, how am I going to call you? Wait, the message... I got, wait, what is this? I have Instagram DMs, but it says the message is no longer available. Was that you, Amber? Because I have messages from Gwyn Mitchell, but it went away. Wait, Gwyn Mitchell, I have yours. But then there was another one and it says it disappeared. Wait. Call me, I'll tell you all about David Wait. <laughs> okay amber i'll counter you on that i'll count you on that how about in your next video tell us all about damon white tell us all about damon white that could be the content that we look forward to tell us all about damon white and also also girl i want you to talk about the Shit's creek thing what was that all about i got a message from you on Instagram. And when I went to go click on it, I saw it for a split second. It was the thing of Shit's Creek. And then it went away. I want to know. People are calling for a gift gate. They are. There might be a gift gate, Amber. So we need to have that addressed. <laughs> watch Michael B. Petty's video first. Okay, I will. I will. After this, I will go watch that. Oh my gosh, Liz Blair. Drag my uh, boyfriend into the Amberverse. He now won't stand for anyone but you. He's now yelling at the TV, fighting for your honor in our living room. <laughs> fighting for my honor, as if this is some type of House of the Dragon medieval fight to the death. <laughs> really, though, this is like modern times. Like, if this was 2,000 years ago and we were in the Dark Ages, although some might call this the Dark Ages right now, if this were in the Dark Ages, we'd have armor on and we'd be fighting with uh, swords and shields and dragons and everything. <laughs> Amber, I'm dead. Thank you for making an appearance. We are happy to have you here. We are happy to have you as a party person. Please have a Diet Coke, have a Chips Ahoy. Twinkie has set out refreshments in the back of the spacecraft. Enjoy yourself. Okay, continuing. I'm, I'm <laughs> having time, plenty of time, um, trying to up myself with my health, uh, physical and mental. I don't have time to create this. Well, girl, the thing though, the thing though, that the only thing I'm gonna say about that is, is I do, I sympathize you. With someone who has been dealing with clinical depression for I don't know how many years now in GAD, I understand that. But is this a job or is this just, because you know what I mean? Because Because what is there to say for people in the chat right now who are going through the same things that I go through, going through the same things that you go through, who don't want to get up in the morning. Is, isn't that a fair thing to say? Is that not a fair thing to say? Um, sorry, I was trying to send you a picture of my Dalmatian. It didn't work, but I got it. Oh, wait, you sent me a picture of your Dalmatian? Gwen. Wait, your thing didn't come through, Gwen. The Dalmatian. Wait, send it again. Send it again. Thank you so much, by the way. Very, very sweet of you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Masterpiece of entertainment for you to react to. Because my vlogs are not designed to be vlogs, if that makes sense. They're not designed for some like false character development or storylines. Zonk. I cannot believe that someone hasn't said that yet. Zonk just said that Amber and I should do frenemies. Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein who? Amber Lynn and Jordy's frenemies season two. That rhymed! Frenemies season two. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Zonk, you're onto something. You are on to something. Michelle, thank you so much. I don't even remember what we were talking about. I'm just having so much fun in the chat. Were we talking about anxiety and depression and stuff? Ugh, gosh, I don't want to talk. Like, we're having so much fun in the chat. I don't want to talk about this. 
I'm strictly just vlogging my life and what is happening. And right girl, Amber, come on, you, you're listening right now. Girl, you know, you, I don't know if you've been watching them the whole time or whatever, but I said, your channel has a lot of different outlets to it. It isn't just what goes on YouTube. You know what? There, there's no, there's no point in me even saying it because things are things, things in the background and whatnot. They're known. They're known. They're not all. Sometimes they're not always explicitly said, or they're ignored on purpose deliberately. Me like petting my mustache for no reason. All right. Right now, I'm going through it. Things I've told you, things I haven't. Reaction channels are just not that important. Soul crushing. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Reaction channels are not that important. I beg to differ. I think that I am me, everybody else. I think that we're very influential in keeping you relevant. And I don't, I don't, I really, is there an argument against that? Is there an argument against that? That reaction channels do not help Amber Lynn stay relevant and do not help her make money. Is there an argument against that? Is there? So I think that we are important. I mean, you made an hour and eight minute long video about this, so I must be a little important at least. Little bit. Addison Wright asked for you to say their name. Sending a super chat for that. <gasps> oh my God, Nicole, thank you so much. Addison Wright. I'm so sorry that I missed that. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, and Aoki again. Jordy does it live, Amber. He does it live, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not fine. Oh, wait. Addison Wright. Say my name for me, Jordy. <laughs> okay, well, Addison Wright. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I'm happy you're, you've uh, tagged along and everything. So glad. To <clears throat> my gosh, my uvula is like giving out. Or my vocal cords or whatever those things are. Uh, Thank you for hanging out. Jordy, call our girl. I wouldn't even know how to call her. Can you call people on Instagram? Wait. Oh my God, Amber, stop unsending the message. I got I got a preview on my thing and it said uh, Velvet and Honey sent you a message, but then when I go to click on it, it goes away. Why, wait, why? Girl, you, you're watching me. I'm not looking at my phone. <laughs> like what? Come on. Give me a second. Requests. No. Can you call people on Instagram? That would kind of be that would kind of be iconic. Don't call her. She's back. Wait, did she say something? Sorry, currently debating if I should slide in Jordy's. Girl! Currently debating. Well, let me know. Let me know. Um, no scruples? <laughs> That's a fun little word. Uh, hey, Kip. I'm really sick right now, but the stream is making my day. Thank you for making transformative content for us girls. Waiting for Frenemy Season 2. Is it in the works? Is it in the works? Maybe. I don't know. Who would be Trisha and who would be Ethan? I could be Trisha. Oh, I could be, I could pull off Trisha. I could pull, okay, one second. Ethan, are you trying to have a season two? <laughs> I don't know if I do a good Trisha voice. I don't know if I do a good Trisha voice at all. 
She talks really fast. And I kind of do, but I kind of don't. <laughs> I We could do Frenemy Season 2. Like, how would we do that? So, would I have to shave, though? Or could I dye my hair? So, I'll be Trisha. I'll buy a breastplate. And I'll wear, like, what, what does she wear? Trisha wears all sorts of clothes. But, okay, I could do a Trisha cosplay. Amber could do, like... Oh, Amber, go to Ulta again with Jade. Have her buy you um, things to do, like, a beard with. Like, do a beard, and then we could do Ethan. And then, like, we could switch every week. Like, you could be Trisha the next week. Frenemy season two. Guys... Who's here for it? Ugh, I'm sorry. I feel like I'd, I'd need to brush up on my Trisha. I feel like I'm not doing a good job. I don't even know what she says. God, I haven't seen a Trisha Paytas video and poo. Keep the facial hair. <laughs> Nicole, I'm paying you to PO Amber by talking about Chantal for the next 10 minutes. Oh, girl. Nicole, thanks again. <laughs> I turn away for one second and you have a wig on. Well, Zikig, we were exploring different options for Amber. Now, I she said she said that she doesn't want to win the audience back. You did say that, Amber. You did say that. Didn't want to win her audience back, but but we are maybe exploring ways for her to bolster her community and get things back on track. Because you can't tell me that Amber Lynn doesn't want those six figure views back. Amber Lynn, I know you do. I know you do. So if Frenemies season two is how we're going to do this. <laughs> it's in the works, girl. It's in the works. Give us girls an early Christmas present and make a reaction video with Michael B. Petty. That would be, that would blow the Amber verse explode. Love you, by the way. Um, mm, I don't know. I don't know him personally. Um, I follow him on Twitter. I have never had a conversation with him. I don't know if he's interested in this kind of community before. I knew that he keeps up on stuff. Um, he does tweet about stuff and everything, but I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that would be up his alley. I don't know. I don't know. Not, never say never, but thanks so much. Uh, Aoki guys, Feline is Moses. Feline is Moses. Wait, does that mean I need to get a Hilla? Wait, no, no, no. I'm Trisha. Wait, no, she's, she has to get a Hilla. I have to get a Moses. I have to get a Moses. Oh, we would have to switch every week though. To be determined, Aoki. To be determined. <laughs> Elmo for Elmo. <laughs> Love your name. I found her through Michael. I think a lot of people did. Yeah. Michael, I'm telling you all. Like, Michael hasn't been active in years, but he still is the pretzel M&Ms of the Amberverse. He has, he has been a dormant volcano for many years now. He doesn't make videos or anything, but he reigns supreme among the reaction channels. Lord Jordy Targaryen. <laughs> Trisha Paytas Targaryen the third, first of her name. Wait, the third, first of her name. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Y'all... We're, we are far into this live stream now. We are beyond the point of no return. Yes, giving us Gaga with the blonde horse hair. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the bangs. I got this at Spirit Halloween like a month ago. Oh, gosh. Ugh. See, I don't know. It It kind of has like a... I, I haven't like ever really worn wigs. Maybe maybe it's meant to go back like up up there a little bit, but I'd have to pull my hair. Hold on. No, it looks the same. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I thought was going to happen when I did that. I, whatever. To me, for me to just like up my content to make it better for y'all. And I feel like I'm repeating myself. Like I'm going in a circle and I probably am. But like, 
my content is special to me in a way because there's so much more like behind it it's hard to explain there's so much more behind it more emotion behind it than you guys know or understand <laughs> look at rarity loving on me while i'm loving on her i just feel like i'm like absolutely rambling at this point how do you do a braid you wait you need three strands you need one in the middle i don't know if i can do this by myself dude can girls braid their hair sorry can people braid their hair can people braid their hair on their own like this this is hard Everyone do this. Braid your hair. This will be interesting. Because I'm having trouble doing it with the wig. Whoever said Zonk. Zonk is MVP tonight for, for suggesting frenemies. <laughs> Iconic. Iconic. So let's just press play. Continue on. I feel like I'm arguing with him back and forth. And like, oh my God, is he going to react to this? Probably. Oh boy. Because when if I move to Foodie Booty or if I move to Girl Defined or you know all these other things, if I take my channel in a different direction, Ooh. this falls by the ways. Who's Girl Defined? I love a new YouTuber, so I'm gonna try to remember that name. No, uh, I do not advocate for Girl Defined. No, do not. It's not good. It's not good because views recently. I mean, we are. We're taking. Are you talking about your views? Like, that's where I'm confused. Like I said, I go month to month basis and I'm good. I'm grateful for what I have. Um, if you feel like what you're doing on your channel is tanking your views, don't react to me. Maybe react. Valid read. Valid read. Amberlynn read. Valid R-E-I-D. To me, like, uh, once a month? See how well you do, you know, moving on to someone else. Anyways. Punch, we really are. So th this video in its entirety, we can't. I mean, come 2023, we have to change something up because we have been. Derek Richardson, thank you so much for popping back in again. Uh, Haynes, I missed yours. I'm so sorry. Hey, Jordy, when ALR posted on her community page, I instantly ran there and told her that you were live or active or boy. <sighs> Did you, Haynes? Was this your doing, Haynes Anatomy? <laughs> Haynes Anatomy. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep up. Ah! Monomaniac, thank you so much. You have a very cute profile photo. Uh, did she spray Pam on the food? Did she react to the reaction channel? Yeah, that do that does not have the same thing. No. Doing this since last fall. Last fall, it's just been this reiterated. Let me try on makeup. Look what I bought. Look at what I got at the grocery store. That like, it, it can't go on. It's been going on for a lot longer than I anticipated. I mean, here we are in November of 2022, still doing the same tired carnival ride. Uh, uh, I mean, let me change out the stuff. And this is where. I say that I'm so grateful for my audience because what you find boring, other people find calming and relatable. I'm sorry. From purse. If, this ain't it, you guys. This is not it. Out of the complete collection. I'm All sorry for you, months. question mark. This book is called Kiss Number Eight. Obviously, my wallet's in there, which just has the typical. A dollar. Wow, I'm so rich. Debit card, my vaccine card, and a few other, other, a few other, and a few other miscellaneous things. And then I carry this around. Your mind. Literally, the first week I met Philly, she gave me that, and I've had it in there for that long. Some Tylenol, this has been in there since I was having um, really bad shoulder pain like a month ago, like really bad, so I had to take Tylenol and be broken. Oh, and by the way. Okay, we're gonna take a second to look at Gwyn Mitchell's Dalmatian because it is iconic. It's so cute. I, I, Really, I've only seen a Dalmatian maybe like a couple times in my life. But like, isn't that such a like a gorgeous dog? Like, just like a very like unique pattern of fur like that. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, what is his name? Did you say his name? 
my profile pic paired there's a photo oh he's so he slash she is so cute Jordy, who am I texting? Who am I texting? What do you mean I'm not texting anybody? What makes you think I'm texting somebody? Did you see my fingers go up and down? Were they? Go I don't remember them doing that. Were they doing that? Is something going on behind the scenes? I don't. I didn't hear anything about that. His name is Krug. Well, hello there, Krug. Krug the Dalmatian. Are there 101 of him? Jordy ignoring Amber Lynn. <laughs> FBI Frank. <laughs> I see the FBI Frank username in chats all the time. I'm wondering, are you the same person on everything? Or are there multiple FBI Frank accounts? So it makes sense if there are multiple. <laughs> uh, does anyone honestly believe that her name is Feline? I don't know how to spell it also. Well, it's just a... Uh, it's the, it's the little thing from Bambi, the little deer movie or whatever. The love interest in Bambi's Feline. And she said because she's called Bambi, Ambi. I, I don't know. Like It's just, it, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Em. <laughs> Jordy got a wifey. No, I need Moses. I need Moses. Where am I going to find a Moses in time for this Frenemies episode? Huh? Who could I get to play Moses for me? I don't know. Well, Moses doesn't really say much. So whoever I get to play Moses, they wouldn't really need to do much. So maybe I could just get like a cardboard cutout. Because it doesn't talk. <laughs> so many. Okay, okay. Let me start from the beginning. So in YouTube uh, studio, there's this section where it's the copyright section. YouTube actually, baby girl, what do you do? YouTube actually has a section in creator studio where um, it shows the copyright section, which shows the videos that are on YouTube that have your video in it. Um, like a certain percentage, it'll show, you know, the percentage of it and whatnot. And it gives you the option to send out a copyright strike. That's why when people tell me like I have false copyrighted in the past, so not true. <laughs> I would never do that. But a lot of his videos have been popping up in my little section. You guys wouldn't even believe thousands of videos. Thousands of videos are in that copyright section where I can just strike, strike. It just is one click, strike, strike. Don't do it, won't do it, haven't done it. And it didn't work. This is in there. This is. What was the point of all that then? What was the point of that whole conversation? If you're just going to say, we'll do it. Don't, not going to do it. Don't plan on doing it. Okay. My tax paperwork because they wanted, when I got my new ID, they needed three proofs of address. So this was one of them. What is this? Oh, this is from when I tore ligaments in my ankle. All the paperwork you get for that. Where's the lid? Oh no. But this is hair perfume. I am very much a smell gal. I like to smell good. I like my You're home for the rest of the day. Isn't that why people wear cologne and perfume? I don't vlog everything that I do. That's a misconception. I do not vlog everywhere that I go. But I will say, during the ankle slash lung era, I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I didn't. Um, but I do not vlog every day. I do not, even on the days that I am vlogging, if I go somewhere, I don't always film. It's just not what I do. I don't show everything that I do. Um, so yeah. And even if I'm at home, I want to smell good. What you mean? Just because I'm chilling at home does not mean I do not use perfume. Because honey, I do. Shower daily, perfume daily, body spray daily. Um, I don't use the hair perfume that often. Um, but yeah, I still... I still like to smell good at home. <laughs> Other people think, I guess, like if it's just for her, and I guess if wifey's sniffing her hair when they get intimate or whatever, but. <laughs> oh, we got a little laugh! Got a little laugh! <laughs> Getting all dolled up to sit at home. <laughs> home to smell good, and I like my hair. So.
Amber, if you're so you paused this so much, so much. You did. <laughs> like this. How long have I been streaming? Okay, so my original video was a half an hour. Hers was an hour and eight minutes. So an hour and eight minutes to a 30-minute video. So that means that she provided 38 minutes of commentary. 38 minutes of commentary onto a 30-minute video. Well, oh, no, no, wait. Actually, it was 1.5 speed. So the math is probably off a little bit. I've been streaming for three hours, one minute, eight seconds. And we're an hour and four minutes in. So we've been doing two hours of commentary onto a one hour video of a 30 minute video. Like this, this is, this is beyond comprehension, beyond comprehension. I'm very tired. I am. I, I might not be showing it right now. I am Damon. <laughs> oh my God. Someone just made an account called Damon white. Jordy on the radar. Do you even have thousands of videos? I think she meant like video, like my, like videos come up in her little section or whatever to show like where they were being used or whatever. And among those videos, like of the thousands that she sees, my videos come up. I think that's what, that's what she meant. Mr. Snowflake's Trisha. Wait, Mr. Snowflake did a Trisha impersonation? Knowing him and knowing the way he speaks and his demeanor and everything, I would love to see that. I would love to see that. Which, by the way, can someone let me know, did did Mr. Snowflake get rid of his Discord? Because I'm not in it anymore. Wait, girls, update. Okay, I'm no longer Trisha Paytas. This is like getting in my, it's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. Well, I don't know. Hold on. Oh. Um, I don't think she would have sent this if she didn't want me to play this on live stream. But I have a voice memo from our girl. There's three, actually. They're a minute long. Oh, she had a lot to say. Do I play them? Do I play them? Listen. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'm actually really shy in person. Random fact. Okay. So, the Damon... Damon? Was that his name? The Damon White thing? Oh my god. So when I was with Destiny, it's all pretty simple and I've actually explained it before, but I guess people didn't watch that video, didn't watch that live stream, whatever it may be. But um, this is when I first found out that there was a whole ass group on Facebook talking about me. This was in my like beginning stages of hater land, if you will. And I wanted to know what was being said. This was years ago. I mean, I was literally with Destiny. Okay. I do remember this vaguely though. I just didn't recognize the name Damon White. So I think that Amber Lynn made a fake Facebook and she tried to infiltrate. I think that that's what happened. So I knew my friend had a fake profile, a fake Facebook. So well, I have wait, Amber. Was it your? Fr Hold on. Hold on. Was it Becky's profile? Was Becky the one that made this? And then you were just using her account. Therefore, it was her fault. <laughs> just teasing. Just teasing. Don't strike me. I asked her to use it. It's that simple. And she let me. So. And I don't know, or I don't remember how people found out that it was me. I'm pretty sure that friend um, revealed that because I know I didn't do it. But You're right. Whoever just said that, it, it went by really quick in the chat, but it was that freaking stripper's fault. That's who it was. That's whose fault it was. 
it was that freaking stripper's fake Facebook account. You're right. You're right. That's whose it was. But, um, yeah, like, I've been very open and honest that I was using that account. But it was my friend's account. So, yeah. It was just because I wanted to see what people were saying about me. You know, a little narcissistic moment, if you will. But it's really nothing. Never had one of those. That serious. I only used it for, from what I remember, a couple weeks. And then, <laughs> yeah, I stopped. So that's not really hot pipe and tea. I'm sorry I don't got it for you. But hello. Hi. How are you? Okay. Now, I don't know if she wanted me to play that on live stream or anything, but, like, I don't think what she said was too incriminating or, like, would be to the point where, like, she didn't want that play. And it's, like, you see me live reacting, so it's, like, why would you not want me to play that? Okay. All right. All right. Maybe I'm overthinking it. She said one more, and I don't know if this is about Damon White. This might be about Frenemies. Is, there's one more voice memo. Do we think this, this is going to be about Frenemies? <laughs> respond you want me to send a voice memo that she could listen to on here already you know i think i have a love-hate relationship with you because you remind me of someone who used to be my best friend you remind me of someone who was like literally family to me and we no longer speak anymore which is really unfortunate unfortunate and it's like broken my heart like completely but you remind me of this person a lot and I try to look past the fact that you strongly. I think I know who she means. And we never got that tea. We never got that this season. It happened. It fell by the wayside. That's sad. That's sad that you felt that you, I don't know what happened. I can only spec, speculate, speculate. I can only speculate. So that's actually really personal. I know, like, I don't know if I want to play the rest of this. I don't know if I want to play the rest of this voice memo. Because I thought it was going to be, her. I, I honestly, I, like the first three things about Damon White, like, okay, but like, I didn't know like the third one. I thought she was going to be like, like, yes, like, let's do frenemies. So I remind her of Eric. Who used to be family. Interesting. All right. Well, there is another half of this voice memo I'm going to keep for me. Um, it'll just simmer. It will simmer. It will uh, be playing in the background. You know, all those people that like to listen to this in the background. It'll be playing in the background of my life. But unless she unsends it. I mean, crap, I might go to look at it in 20 minutes. It'll be gone. Well, you know what? It might be gone in 20 minutes. If she unsends it, we have to play it. Okay, you got, okay. Okay, so listen. Ah, wait, she sent in a fourth one strongly dislike me enough to like make reaction videos about me because like you as a person you just really remind me of someone I used to really love as like family and a best friend so I don't know I'm rambling don't mind me I always ramble anyways I'm actually watching your live stream be surprised I don't know I guess I do kind of enjoy your content ever since I found out about it so yeah we're here to have fun, girl. We are here to have fun. We're here to make people's day. We are here to entertain. We are YouTubers. <laughs> I don't know. That's That sounded more glamorous in my head. There's one more. There's one more. Now, she knows by now that I played the voice memo. So I don't think that she would continue to send them if she didn't want me to play them on stream. So I don't, I feel like in a way this is permission. <laughs> I see the chat and they're saying that this is a trap and I'm a manipulator. Unfortunately, they're wrong. And that's emotional manipulation. Don't trust her, Jordy. Wait, the chat is moving so fast, you guys. 
how do I do slow mode? Start a poll, start a Q&A. <laughs> Winter Allen, you're a mod, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I have two mods. I have that one girl, I forget her name, and I have Winter Allen. <laughs> it's a trap. Gaslighting. Plop twist. Jordy is ALR ex roommate. How did you guys find out I was living in the spare bedroom? Alar did the same exact thing to Zachary Michael and he told her to stop contacting her. You're just going to turn on Jordy like every other reaction channel. Amber, I'm being warned. She's playing you. It's a trap. Jordy used to be the stripper roommate. God, I just pictured it in my head for a second, me stripping. I'm just like, oh God, that would look ridiculous. This is like, okay, what is that song? It was popular like 11 years ago. It was like, it was very controversial. It was like, don't trust a hoe. Don't trust as the hoe won't trust me. Exes on the back of your hand. Wash them in the bathroom to drink like the bands and don't trust. Don't. I'm just going to. Don't trust me by 303. I feel like this is don't trust me by 303. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let, let's listen. Let, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's hear the rest of it. And that's just something I have to deal with. Um, being Amberlynn Reed. I get it. The community around me but I can tell you I'm being completely genuine right now so I hope that you're able to like look past that and I'm a little I might have taken like Delta 8 <laughs> so am I gonna re regret these memos because they're gonna be all over everything like guys what's Delta 8 I feel like I don't know anything about the world Delta 8 Oh, okay. All right. Delta A. Okay. Cannabis and Jordy don't mix. We don't mix. We don't do well together. Um, it was one time in the ninth grade. It did not go well. I haven't touched it since. So that's why I don't know what that is. Like, maybe. But um, it is what it is. I'm just... I don't know. I'm tired of hiding. I'm ready to be myself. And the person that I am, she kind of likes you. You remind me of someone that I care about and I like your personality. It is what it is. Nothing stays. Sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> I clicked out of that, went to my home screen, and then it started playing a different video. <laughs> All right. Well, here's what I have to say about that. Oh, there's another one! Holy cow! We're gonna we can make a whole video out of this. She'll be mad at you in about a week for playing these. Amber, you better not. What is today? The eleventh. On the eighteenth, you better not be mad at me. What is that? Next Friday. Next Friday. I don't want a video saying that yeah, I did. Jordy didn't get consent. It was the Delta Eight's fault. Ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> There's another a minute. All right. Well, you know what? We're this far in. We are four out of five voice memos in. We might as well keep it going. Okay. I'm going to stop bothering you after this one. It just makes me really sad that people think that I'm trying to manipulate you because truly I have no reason to. You're going to continue making the content that you want and... Um, yeah, I have reached out to other reaction channels before because I very much am that type of person where I just... I, I would really like... Okay, so if this becomes a future Zachary Michael episode, I would like his take on it. I would like his take on it. So 
That's interesting because I don't know all the tea that went on with that. I had, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like, I know the basics. Like, I have heard that she reached out to him in the past and things didn't really go well and everything. But I don't know specifics. So, like, I would like to hear it from him specifically. I just don't want people to dislike me. And it 100% stems from childhood trauma. Which, why are we talking about this, like, right now? It's so stupid. Um, but... Yeah, I just want to let you know that I won't contact you anymore. It's totally fine. But I will probably continue watching your content, and I enjoy your personality. Um, and, yeah, so, you know, Frenemies 2.0, <laughs> that would be a Hootenberry. I mean, come on now. That would be fun content. She's not high. Jordy is Feline. Jordy, don't fall for it. So many red flag emojis in the chat right now. Manipulation. I don't know, y'all. I don't know, y'all. Not the childhood. Don't fall for it, brah. She's literally... Please don't fall for this. She's going to try to ma manipulate your content. If you don't, she'll strike you. Ooh. Ah, I mean, you can definitely see how I might be taken aback. You can definitely see how I might have pause and hesitation. We are not Amber's community. We are Jordy's. I feel insulted. And yes, textbook manipulation, massive red flags, insult story, X crush, love bomb. Aoki, you just hit us with the ingredients list to a cake made out of manipulation. But thanks for the super chat. <laughs> Michael B. Petty would never. She's manipulating. Please don't be on her good side. See, like, I, I really, so, okay, so, like, here's what I want to say. Here's what I want to say. Like, what is she trying to get out of it, though? Like, you guys are saying, like, manipulation, like, this is, um, this is all an act. This is, like, whatever. But it's, like, what, what do you think that she wants to get out of it? Because, like, she's on good terms with Alex at Shook in the past and like she's been on good terms with other reaction channels and stuff. So like, I don't understand, like say like theoretically I was on her good side. Um, and which by the way, like just because like we, we've had this like little fun live streams or whatever, like I'm going to continue to make content, you know, based on Jordy and I'm going to keep giving you Jordy. Like, I'm, you know what I mean? Like I, I would never like, I don't know. I, I try to make it objective ish. So, like, I, I really don't want the subjectivity of, like, us, like, you know what I mean? Like, playing into that at all. Replacement Ricky. Don't let her influence you. She wants a platform to parrot her POV. <laughs> parrot. I've never heard the word parrot used as a verb. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She wants to sway her content to make her look better. Okay, so people are now listing answers to my question. Reasonings behind that and everything. The chat is making... So you guys think that she's trying to modify the way that I would react to her. That, that won't be the case. I will react regardless. You know, if we're best friends getting chilies versus sworn enemies, FFG and, and foodie booty, I will react the same way. So I don't want anyone to think that I would ever, like, alter my personality in that regard. Don't listen to Bibble. I forgot about Bibble. Justice for Gracie. With peace and heart, I don't think she's that clever to plan all that. Please block her. Denise. <laughs> Denise. <laughs> don't give her another platform. Be careful, ba Oh, my gosh. You guys are overwhelmingly making your point clear. You are. Overwhelmingly. 
Yes, it can be. Okay. Isabel says everyone needs to calm down. Yes, it be committed, but it can also just be venting and those feelings of reminding of a past person. It could be very real. She can turn around on it later. She can turn around on it later. She can turn around on it later. Sorry, something Dalmatian related. Are you two in the same state? No. Although we're not that far. Kentucky, is that's like a little bit southwest of me-ish? Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh to Kentucky, southwest? Yeah. Do not interact. Amber, go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep. The keto is really getting to her. Oh, stop it. She's full of... And she will turn around and tell you that the leak... Well, you know what? I, I think that I think that, that was pretty... Lavender, I think that that was pretty well established. Like, I I think at this point she can't turn around and be like, oh, well, those were leaks and everything. Because, like, I've already made it clear in this live stream. Like, I played it. It really didn't have much to do without anything incriminating. And then I was like, well, she's continuing to send them and she knows that I'm playing them on here. So, like, I, I don't think that that... That could even be used. Jordy, stay away from her. A H E S. Uh, he's not changing for her. He is just reacting to the voice memos and chats. That's kind of what I'm doing right now, Vivacious. You're right. Yeah. Jordy is addicted to Dalmatians and needs help. <laughs> addicted. She was flirting with me. I don't think that she falls into that category, and I don't think I fall into that category. So I don't think that's what was going on. <laughs> Jordy bestie either way this is so iconic wait she sent voice notes i just got here she did blossom she did blossom we've 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 gotten a little bit of a feature we've gotten a little bit of a feature she gets off on you already seem like you're getting giddy well i mean i'm like this i've been like this the whole thing don't read into it too much cherry cola did you know that there's a Lana Del Rey song named after you? It's called My Female Private Part Tastes Like Cherry Cola. It was weird. It came out in like 2010. I don't think a lot. It's like My Blank Tastes Like Cherry Cola. Is that what it's called? Lana Del Rey. Cherry Cola. Or is it just Cherry. Oh, it's not on Spotify. It's a really old song. It's a really old song. Um, very Tumblr, Jordy. I was I was very into Tumblr. Circa, sorry, I have hair in my mouth from that wig. 2011 through 2014, my Tumblr, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys don't know. I was a big, yes, big Tumblr person. A weird fetishization. CO memes, more red flags. <laughs> My Gracie tastes like cherry cola. Something like that. I think that that may, might have been the name of the song. This candle smells like <laughs> historic memory achieved. Jordy, react to your old Tumblr for a video. I would have to find it. I really would have to find it. You know what? I think I went on it a few years ago and. A lot of it's missing. Like a lot of it doesn't load. I I don't know. Like it's it's so old by now. I mean, does does Tumblr keep its content around like that? Like that's been that's been ten years. That's been over ten years that I've had that account now, and like some of that just like doesn't load anymore. I remember. Okay, this is, this has nothing to do with anything. But like I remember, I was obsessed with this girl named Peyton. Who? Rem okay, in the chat, let me know if you remember this girl. Her name was Peyton. Peyton, and she had a blog called That's Moderately Raven, and she was like queen of Tumblr, queen of Tumblr for like two years, and she was like gonna buy a, a chicken or something, and she was so famous. That's Moderately Raven. I love that's moderately Raven. I don't know what she ha what happened to her anymore. I don't know if she does uh, things or anything. But anyway, ALR is the same person who laughed. 
And it's Pepsi Cola. Pepsi Cola. That's it. That's it. That's it. I love Pepsi. I love Pepsi. Pepsi's Pepsi. Who knows that? Who knows that? The Britney Spears video of her doing the interview with Tucker Carlson. What's your favorite kind of Pepsi? I don't know, Tucker. Pepsi's Pepsi. What do you mean? Well, you don't like diet Pepsi? No, no, just just regular Pepsi. Re regular Pepsi. <laughs> the fluffy tumbler chicken. Yes, Lizzie. Yes. That's moderately Raven. Oh my gosh. The song is literally called Cola. Okay, no, 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 no. I thought, okay, I thought it was called Cola 2. She has a recent album with a song, Cola. Wait, was that Ultraviolence? Cola, Lana Del Rey. It's, it's before that. It's, it's very old. Hold on. My blank tastes like cherry cola. Wait, Pepsi Cola. Why am I saying cherry? Or maybe it is just cola. Oh, you're right. Born to Die, 2012. You're right. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Jordi, I'm supposed to be the meme mom here. <laughs> my favorite kind of pe Pepsi's Pepsi. <laughs> I used to do that with my friend all the time. Pepsi's Pepsi. <laughs> like, just talking about like something completely random. And just say, yeah, yeah, I agree. Pepsi's Pepsi. What was my URL? I feel like I would need to do a little review before I did that. Cause like, I don't want anything. To, I don't even know like if I was trying to be like edgy back then, or I, I just wouldn't want to make sure it's good to share. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look into it. Who knows? I do think there's a song, uh, Cherry Cole in the lyrics that may be unreleased. Her new album's coming out soon, I think. But like her, something happened where Lana Del Rey got her her lyrics like stolen out of her car. Which, by the way, like I don't understand that. Like, how how is the only piece of property you own with all of your lyrics on it on physical notebook paper in a car? Like, is this the '60s? Like, I, I don't understand. Amber could do that though. She has all those journals. She has all those journals with everything written down. So maybe that's more common than I think. Because Lana Del Rey does it. Amber Lynn does it. That's that's two people. That's two people out of like 8 billion in the world. So maybe that is a thing. I look, you want to make a Discord server. <laughs> Edge Lord. I think I was edgy. I was. Um, 2014, like very, like trying to just be like, like I was obsessed with like the Jenner people. And I don't, I don't know why. Like, Kylie Jenner and her little friends and everything. Like, I, I don't know what it is. Like, she had these friends, like Haley Baldwin and like the Hadids and like uh, the, the one brother of the Hadids. Like, I was obsessed with all of them and like New York fashion and stuff. Like, I was just so cringe. Like, I don't know why I went through that phase, but hey, we all go through phases. It's just a recent song with Taylor Swift, but you can't even hear her. I know. <laughs> you can't hear her at all. Uh, praying on my fan base. She tried this with Callie too. Oh boy. Oh boy. Lots on the table. Lots on the table, y'all. We need Peyton in the chat. Can we back, Can we get back to ALR? Do you guys want to finish this? We got four minutes. We got four minutes. We are three, three and a half hours in. <laughs> chat being weird with all this tumblr talk <laughs> if i'm sitting at home if i'm absolutely not going anywhere sorry my ear is itching so bad if i'm not going anywhere and i've done my makeup and i've done my hair that's a good thing that means amberlynn's mental health that day is chef's kiss thriving that is a good thing y'all don't listen to him <laughs> If you ain't going to leave your house, if you're not going to leave your house and you want to put on makeup and you want to do your hair and you want to feel good and you want to smell good, do it. Do it. Because I know for me. I guess that's just a personal opinion. Like, I don't think that I would spray cologne on myself or try to, like, do the most if I'm not going to be around other people. I, I don't know. That's just personal opinion. I, I feel like cologne is meant for other people to smell. Like, things like that are meant for other people to smell. And, like, yeah. Personal opinion, whatever. Don't listen to me.
me. I feel better with the change of clothes, with my makeup done, with my hair done, even if I'm just sitting at home. It feels good. It just does. Um, so this is Pink Sugar. You guys can find this on um, Amazon. My Kindle's in there, low battery. Your Kindle needs to charge for use. I don't know why, haven't used it in a hot minute. We have some bills. So I don't know what happened, but everything past this point has completely gone missing. Um, the video was extremely long and I can't find the rest of it. And that's disheartening because there was more. There was a lot more that I had to say and talk about. After reacting to this, my overall consensus is just I'm not making reactable content. I don't understand the point of reaction channels at this uh, particular time. I guess back in 2019, I can understand it a little bit better because people love drama, people love train wrecks, and I was massively one back then. I'm not saying I'm not now, but I'm not a reactable train wreck currently. Well, I think she made it very clear about what she wants and what she's interested in, but you know what, guys? Party people. Party people is a gender neutral term, by the way. It is. Party people. We're all partying. So things change. Things change day to day, hour to hour. Things are always moving in girl world. You know, like tectonic plates of earth, seafloor spreading, things like that. Like how earth used to be Pangea. Now we're all uh, spread out and everything. That's girl world. We are. We're always moving around and everything. So what Amber wants today or says that she wanted in this video, she might want something different tomorrow. What she said today, she might say something different tomorrow. I don't know. It all is different. It all changes. That's why you just got to keep sticking around. Got to keep listening to us on your way to class, on your way to work, while you're cleaning, while you're facing the other side of the wall on your bed and your laptop is behind you. You just got to stay tuned. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. Um, I am like, this was a lot. This was a lot. I've been here for three and a half hours. I got one bathroom break. Me complaining. Me complaining. I get it. I got one bathroom break. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad my stuffy nose went away, though. So I think that this is where I'm going to end it. Um, I had a blast. Honestly, I had a freaking blast. I d it started out a little rough, but you know what? The second half of this, this was really something. And I thought I had a lot of fun. I'm really glad that I decided to come on live. Um... Everyone that sent in a super chat, that is beyond so generous to you. It means the world to me that your support and your donations are able to make things like this possible and everything. I am very, from the bottom of my heart, thank you and everything. Um, I hope that you all had fun because I definitely had fun. I think that everybody had fun. And that's really, at the end of the day, that's what I want to do. I want to have fun. I want to make people laugh. I want to entertain. So thank you everybody who hung out thank you for every all you party people all you party people we only have a little bit of the chips ahoy and diet coke left if you want to take some to go you can just this once just this once but uh, seriously thank you for hanging out i can't thank you enough it makes you and it makes me very happy and look forward to some fun content we are all throughout november all throughout december more to come more jordy more jordy oh lordy more jordy and it's jordy Two channels. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a good night.